Well, then we'd just be just, at the mercy of the updraft I problem. Just a parachute in the updraft? We'd become a Grandian <laughs> drifter at that point. I had to deal with the insurance company for about six months. Oh, no. Yeah. How do you get rental insurance for all your cars? Uh, yeah, I, I've never filed a claim, so, I, yeah, I just damage the cars usually. But <laughs> I'm on a, some do not rent list with rental car companies. Yeah. Hertz and uh, a couple. Guys, very quick. Oh. Edgar's got it. Welcome to the stream. It's so... Up, 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 up. Okay, so Reed's about to get on an airplane and go up. So we're in Austin. We actually have a telescope on my roof, but we have clouds. So Reed is able actually to see above the clouds. Our connection will only go so far. Um, so... Hopefully Reed gets above the clouds and we go on a ride with him for a while and then the clouds clear up here at my house and then I'll run up on the roof and uh, and then man the telescope because we got a pretty good telescope for this. So it's a little frustrating we're cloudy. But here's the uh, satellite view over here and uh, I'll let you guys just go to this. But please hit the like um, button and share it. Two minutes. Okay. On the SD cards, you might just want to wait right until the eclipse. Right, right. at the eclipse. Okay. okay. Everyone has a 15 or read your 14? I've got a 15, yeah, and a 14. Got my burner phone with me, so. Okay. Do you have a um, headphone jack to lightning? Um, we'll try it on the ground here before we go, but for some reason, you did buy a whole new port. You said it, but. Yeah, I do on the. Uh, uh oh. This is the uh, lightning one. Yeah. Yeah, so I have it, have it on here. No, no, that's the USB-C, the new one. Oh. Yeah, USB-C. So the lightning okay. would be on your other, both the other two. Okay. So he said you can get you, I guess, in cockpit. He it will record the oh, audio, audio from cool. yeah, in the actually, cockpit. It's, so that's it's cool. super, super loud, but that will get all the, all the audio nice and clear. Yeah. Wow, this is going to be amazing. I can't believe this. What a beautiful. Yeah, we fly down to SpaceX for every launch. Oh really? Like oh, yeah, an hour flight. Those. If y'all, yeah. Wow. If y'all come to that, it should be one in about a month. I saw. I think Saint I was. Margarita I was looking at your socials and saw that re like when you guys doing one of those at the SpaceX launch. Oh yeah. yeah. That was with cool. all the boosters. Oh yeah, yeah. That looks awesome. Yeah, I, I've heard it's a research just to make sure you guys are normal. <laughs> we're, not, we're, not. <laughs> well, we're not normal either. Either that's for sure. It's just, is it the right type of normal, right? <laughs> Definitely, you guys. Great, bud. Yeah, Brian asked his pilot friend, and his pilot friend's like, I would not, myself or my family, get in any aircraft. <laughs> but, but then Mark, Chase and Spin, the guy that does our sensors, he's like, you better do it. It's like, I would do it. And he's, he, he's the most cautious, you know, safety conscious person. Uh, I could tell. I you could, uh, if I had, like, just gotten my license or something, run. I'll be doing this for a while, so. Yeah. I can tell just by talking to you that you're experienced somehow. You have that pilot voice. Guys, this is for. Scott, you want to sit on the left side? What? I'm going to sit in the back. You can stick my bag back there. You can sit in the front, too. No, no. I do it every time. You got it. But not for eclipses, but yeah, you, you can totally sit in the front, too. Though. I'm excited to be here. This one doesn't love me anymore. He is at home, isn't That's he? That's shocking, yeah. Mm -hmm. Look at that. <laughs> I appreciate it. Maybe she's getting her all nice and calm. Yeah. So then when I go, she'll just be like... Ooh, we also try, <laughs> try Busy Butter. Gosh. Are we live? Hey, folks. We are here at uh, the airport in Austin. This is Skylar. Hello. And uh, this is Matt's girlfriend. This is Matt, the pilot. Howdy, howdy. Thank you to Matt for making all this possible. Oh yeah, man, we got it. Storm chaser, aviation expert, space weather expert. And he's gonna be responsible for us uh, surviving this. <laughs> so we get right up above the cloud tops and uh, hopefully it's just be a nice white carpet below and might even see some stars if we get it dead center. So. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm gonna go grab Giz's uh, uh, leash so that when I'm over here oh, yes. watching you guys, I want Sorry, to... I should have grabbed no, that. Yeah. Just don't get the yeah. to tell you back. <laughs>
Hey, Gizzy. Does Aww. she have glasses? <laughs> she doesn't. No, she, no, actually she does. Hey, Edgar, don't forget to put the glasses on Gizmo, too, as the eclipse is coming. Okay. Yeah, when it happens. <laughs> okay, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> Do you want me to hold it? Will you? Oh, no, you're doing good. I got it. This is our co-pilot of the day. <laughs> She's going to be asleep at the wheel. Aww. Yeah, not too windy. We might sample that. The low-level jet should intensify until like 5 p.m., I think, so. It's probably like 20 knots a kilometer up. I checked the rapid. That one looked pretty good as far as nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Just jumping in to show you guys. So there is the live feed from the roof, and you will be able to see the uh, telescope if some of those clouds clear. My hair natural on camera, man. <laughs> We're like polar opposites. I can't freeze. He's got that great hairline too. <laughs> Here it is, folks. Look at this beautiful aircraft. It's called a Cirrus, named after the Cirrus deck up there. The El Nino milk. Let's do it. Wow, yeah. This is your pre flight checkup? Yeah. yeah. Make sure everything works. And uh, as we're going into some IMC, I want to make sure the uh, pitot static here is going to hold some heat. Oh. That's a nice over. Oh, a pitot tube. Nice. Look at that. That's not. Oop, there you go. Nice and hot. Wow. These <laughs> running and uh, flat looks good. Quick fact: that pedo tube, that's pretty much what Tim Samaras used as um, as his high speed anemometer design. It has little holes on the sides of the cones that that it measures how fast uh, what the pressure is, which then could. Uh, say how fast the wind is going but those little things tim samaris inspired uh it does inspired its, his design so if we get in the ice we'll start pumping out ethylene glycol here hit the windshield so that kind of prevents any build up and this wing will actually uh it's like a big sponge you can't really see it but super super thin micro holes these will start bleeding out glycol to prevent any type of build up to get up pretty high wow so, <laughs> wow! Man, these things are advanced. Oh, yeah. So aerodynamic. Is that a private jet, man? That's a big jet. Wow! You know how to fly those too? You can check it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I do have uh, some milk that's coming in here, but you can also see breaks and clouds. Lots of blue sky up there, and uh, sometimes these clouds will even lead to an incredible optical effect where you'll be able to see the eclipse up in there. Edgar is going to be on the ground. We're also going to have Connor in Dallas. This is the rare total solar eclipse here, folks. And right after we land, we're going to resume full-blown storm chase mode. Supercells, gorilla hail, tornado potential. Warm frontal zone is going to be lifted up to central and eastern Texas right after we land. Here comes Edgar. So happy! We are, we are excited to do this. Me too. This is gonna be. <laughs> Thank gonna you be so great. much. Oh, I owe you guys a tornado intercept for sure. Awesome. We'll do a Dominator three intercept. We'll get this over, but then you can hold that. Yeah, send it down there. There you go. Uh, the tags in the front. Okay. Here we go. That's so funny. Oh. Ha 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 
So comfortable. Here he goes. He's doing his pre flight check. Uh, yes, for everybody who's joining. So we're going to go into the air as much as we can, probably around 7,000 feet. That feed is going to cut off, but uh, we do have a view on my roof if those clouds in the background clear up. So hopefully Reed goes up when he cuts out. Hopefully the, it's clear enough. I'll have to put it on the roof cam and then climb up really fast. It'll be a hate. It'll be, it'll be a wacky one. Uh, but then after that, we have a chase. You can see she's ready to go over there, but I am too. It's going to be fun. <laughs> You're so good with Gizmo. I'm just so happy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> energy, energy. Yeah, that's shocking. She's sure is, yeah. She'll try to get out. I try to get to me and everything. And, you know, Good. I think uh, maybe like 12:20 we'll plan time off. Yeah. Go inside, get some water real quick. So okay. Be all, be all set up now. You are awesome. I oh yeah, Dominator three tornado intercept. I would love that. Be a dream. Make that happen. Uh, that is fun to get in there. Yeah, we want to go into like F one. Yeah. Stronger one. You guys had a good one last year. I saw. Yeah, Spalding. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that was a good one. That's great. Yeah, we've had to repair it too, and. It bet the anemometer mass a little bit. Oh, yeah. Sorry, some people are uh, asking questions. Yes, I'm in Austin, and that's in the totality. So if we get a break in the clouds, we will have a really good view because that's a 500 millimeter telescope, and we'll have a, the digital feed from that coming through. But we gotta we gotta see if these clouds break. But other other than that, this will be interesting for a little while here. We'll be back out here in about 20. Huh? We'll be back out in about 20. So. Okay, thank you. Thank you. It's going to go blowing down the runway. So kind. Is this your home airport? Yeah, home airport here. Yeah. Uh, nice, right in Central Texas. And uh, obviously they're, they're great about everything here. So. And so you're a space, aviation, weather enthusiast, and a tech enthusiast? Yep, big time, man. You uh, try to make it all the SpaceX launches, so you have to do one of those. Yeah, and, that would uh, be awesome. So loud, man. Uh -huh. so, I mean, big rubber bands laughing. Wow. <laughs> you fly, you can, I'll, I'll, what kind of range do you have on a fuel tank with that? Yeah. So, usually about a five hour Dang. time, depending on altitude. And wow. Can it, wow, that's awesome. Yeah. Do you use it to travel a lot? Mm -hmm. Hold on, Texas will go anywhere. So if we use the oxygen to get about another 200 now. Yeah. That would be great for a storm chase. You could just fly out there and rent a car and then do it again. <laughs> so I found it. Nicola Connor, uh, well, this is for her boyfriend. They're prepping. Sorry, I keep interrupting when the uh, the stream gets crappy, and then it immediately fixes. Yeah. Dang. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it went west to east, like across the northern U.S. Okay. 
I think like Montana down to South Carolina. But it was crazy. I was on the ground for that one, but I've been at World in South Carolina. All right, I'm just going to jump in here. Okay, so let's see if we can make this a little easier for you guys to see. Come on now. I mean, half my equipment is on my roof right now, so things are going to be a little bumpy at the start of the stream here. Um, but basically, we have three days in a row of enhanced risk areas. So like right next to my head right here, here's the enhanced risk area. And if we go on here, so this is the enhanced risk area uh, today. And if we go on tornado, this is the 5%, covers a huge area. Uh, including Dallas, Austin, Fort Worth, Arlington, Plano, Texas. Um, so that's today after all this airplane, roof, telescope, eclipse, cloud cover stuff finishes out. Uh, Reads at Austin Executive Airport. I am uh, in Austin as well, and we're in the totality area of the eclipse. Um, but... As you saw here, we do have some cloud cover. Now, there, there are breaks in the clouds, so hopefully everything kind of times right that we'll be able to get a nice view from up top because the telescope is rad. Um, later on, we'll also have Connors in Dallas, Connor Croft, um, so he may be able to give us a view of the eclipse there which is also in the totality um but yeah it's gonna be a gonna be a wacky one today for a little while but yeah so it seems like they don't get very good service in the terminal here this is the root. Ooh, look at that. You see some blue sky right there. We are getting some blue sky by uh, up top. So yeah, so what will happen is Reed will go in the air uh, and he'll keep streaming as long as he can. But once it gets above around 7,000, we'll probably lose it, our connection. And they'll, they'll probably need to go higher to get above uh, a cloud deck there. Reed is recording everything. We got GoPros. We got all, we got the... The plain audio so this will be a cool video we'll see as much as we can on the stream too um but uh then once he goes out of service area uh edgar's gonna try to cover it from the ground connor's gonna try to cover it from dallas i'm gonna try to cover it from my roof while running down uh not breaking my neck and changing the inputs because you know what don't worry about it hopefully it's just a good show for you today um, there's Edgar, there's Matt, the pilot, there's Matt's girlfriend, didn't know her name, but she seems very nice, good with gizmo. Just to even hold the camera, because then it, then I don't have to be on it. That's why I grabbed it. Yeah. All right, folks, we are here at Austin Executive Airport. We've got Gizmo here. We've got Edgar the Storm Chaser just dominating back there. Even wore a Sunday vest today. I did. <laughs> Fancy There's today. Matt. How do you pronounce your last name? Uh, Mobilson. Mobilson? Mobilson, yeah. With a V? Yeah. Yeah, this is Matt Mobilson. And uh, expert pilot, highly trained, over 16 years of training out there, weather enthusiast, space enthusiast as well. Where can people follow you? Uh, Instagram, Matt Mauve, and then on uh, TikTok or Twitter, I guess I saw Tom, so I'm also. Where can people follow you? Hi, um, TikTok, Sky Seashell, S K Y C S H E L. Edgar? Oh, you can follow me at EdgarTheStormChaser.com. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> you're already following me here if you're watching this stream. Here's Giz Bizzle. Look at how happy she is. She was very happy with Sky earlier. 
which was shocking. This guy's very good with dogs. Loves dogs too. She can sense your love for dogs. She's making a flight plan right now with the FAA. Three people. Gas. So, not really a normal flight plan, but we're just going to go hold over at this GPS waypoint for X amount of time, and then once we're done, we'll just exit that hold and then come back into executive. Nice. <laughs> we're getting all this, all the paperwork. Here we go. I feel 100% confidence in Matt now. Matt and Sky, they obviously make an incredible team. Yeah. She's even named after aviation, Miss Sky. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Meteorologist or a pilot or a <laughs> So as a pilot, I'm sure you have like had to you study meteorology like big a lot, time. yeah, big time. You, you definitely can't pull over. One hundred percent. Yeah, yeah, you gotta, <laughs> you gotta, you gotta go <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. Just, yeah, let me just wait this one out, guys. <laughs> 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 yeah, speaking of that, yeah, we'll we'll get off at about twelve forty. It should be about a thirty minute flight time there, so we should have about a twenty minute buffer. In the air, just do a loop. Mm -hmm. so, wow. Right there, and then takes it right back up and back over here. So. Uh, even just doing a flight is exciting for me. Yeah, this is cool. I'm a little afraid of heights, so. It's a good. Hey, Reed, I. This is um, zero gravity. I cleared this off, Reed. <laughs> really? Yeah. Cool. Okay. That is awesome. <laughs> I, this has now an hour. Okay. So they just, the footage on there was stuff we already used for the Dom video. Oh, that's so, sweet. We'll so just start it just hour. before it's on top. Exactly. Yeah. Well, it has an hour, so I mean, yeah. 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 all the audio you can get from the plane that I've been doing for the video. That time to listen to the 25-minute I'm going to file right now for 1240 make sure they don't kick this back at me. 1230. He said pick yeah. up the eco flow. Okay. <laughs> well, those blue bonnets? I almost look like it. Actually, yeah, those are. Freshly picked them up in there. Oh, yeah. Sweet. I think so, we will. Really? Be in the state of Texas. Why don't blue bonnets grow in Oklahoma? Do you know? That's a good question. You should bring some. Yeah. It's weird that they just I mean, stop at the Red River. Yeah, it's got the same climate. Yeah. Oh, totally should. Must just be a little too cool, I guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you guys all anti uh, OU or? No, that's actually my dad's name is OU. Really? We were always, my dog's name is Boomer. Wow. So we were always Sooners. Boomer Sooner. Yeah. <laughs> I went to Arizona, actually, so not partial. Yeah. We'll do, we'll do Oklahoma. We played Arizona <laughs> in that bowl game this year. That's right. At the Alamo Bowl. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I own a burnt orange living in Austin. <laughs> yeah. Know. Yeah. <laughs> only, only maroon. Wow. That's good. <laughs> By design. This thing is so heavy. Oh, wow. You should feel that thing. Right, it's heavy oh. duty. Oh, yeah, that thing. Yeah, it's not oh. light. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can cook your breakfast in the morning. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to get it. Carry this in the car. I'm going to be doing this with Gizmo. Okay, do you want me to get it? No, no, no. Okay. okay. It's a good workout, you know? Yeah. <laughs> See how she digs it <laughs> my leg? She's trying to get down. Are these the um, glasses that you were... Yeah. Sure? Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, I also have the, a couple of these, too. Backups. Yeah, we want extras, too, just in case we pass them around. Yeah. 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 yeah, Gizmo is an example of 15 years of no training. <laughs> I just let her do whatever she wants, whatever makes her happy, she does. That's what I do with my baby. I should take a picture of her. She is potty trained. It took a good five, six years. Aw. What a cutie. What a smile. Wow. Look at that. She just got back from Grandma's house, so she's a little more calm. <laughs> Yeah, my mom takes care of Gizmo, at least the last couple of years. But she's happy to be back out in the field, I think. Yeah. 
Yeah, during the pandemic, I spent a lot of time out in South Carolina. That's probably some good hole in the clouds for Ender. Yeah. It always seems to happen down here, doesn't it? It kind of starts milky skies and then burns off. Yeah. Strong sun. Oh, she's giving me a sniff. Everyone's saying their last goodbyes before interception the eclipse by plane. <laughs> <laughs> I think a couple people got it. That's what it gets for too. <laughs> yeah, you can buy it. I mean, the timing's pretty. Yeah, I think it is. Last year, so. Yeah. yeah. We are good. They like their flight plans. So you want to hold her real quick? No, no, no kickback on it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to have a stream on you while I go to the bathroom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> good luck. Okay. So I want to say hello to everyone on the stream. <laughs> hello. <laughs> What's our flight plan for you guys? Yeah. Yeah, oh, she's so cute though. So cute. Yeah, it looks like it's clearing up. You got the oxygen ready? Everything plugged in? What's that? You got the oxygen Yep, we are good to go. In. Awesome. Oh, wow. <clears throat> yep, we are good to are go. Are you watching it? Huh? Well, let's check it. Okay. Oh, we need to do a hairdo. You want to do a hairdo? <clears throat> Do you want to come tell everyone what we're doing today? Yeah, I do. Oh. Let's see if I can get the, where's the, uh, okay. Just re the set up. Everyone loves you more than, more than me. Everyone does. Okay, so right there, this is the entire eclipse path for the United States. And we're gonna go intercept this GPS waypoint right here at about 12,000. So it should be, should be dead center right in for about maximum exposure. Wait, it's not for You went down? Okay. Yay. Okay. Last minute weather check here. Yeah? Got a little bit of clouds popping up. <clears throat> Ooh. I got a little gizmo. So it looks like it's clearing up around. We're in Austin. Clouds are opening up. I should get a little more clear out. Yeah. It's pretty good. Pilot. Wish Gizmo could come. I know. Me too. I have to borrow this guy's big jet over there now or something. <laughs> All right. Ah! Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Your dad's in the, in, in, the, in the men's room. He's in the men's room. The clear skies. This might be good for some people on the ground, Austin, to watch. Yeah. Let's be right outside the zone. I'm gonna walk out and get to her? Yeah, hold on. Let me use the and we'll go. Guess, guess. You come here, baby. He's okay. He's almost back. He's almost back.
the party? Okay. Can't go far. We will walk around. <laughs> There's Gizmo. Gizmo. All right, is the pilot ready? We're yeah, ready. Gizmo's yelling at people. Okay, no more yelling. No more yelling, okay? Should be. And so the whole plan is I'm hoping we can get on the ground before some of that <laughs> convective weather shows up. There is. Let's get some of these models loaded here. Get on the Wi Fi. There we go. Yeah, you ready? Oh, yeah, I should yell at some strangers. Oh, she did. She did good. Yeah. She did so good. She went to party. Just checking the most recent rapid here before we get off. I'm gonna spy. Mm-hmm. You yeah. say I'm gonna spy over your head here? <laughs> oh yeah. Oh boy. Okay. No. Yeah, that's gonna go look nice today. <laughs> We're it's noon. Zone. I think you're gonna be able to see it, maybe Edgar. Yeah, we got it right there. Yeah. Nice. <clears throat> yeah. Perfect. Maybe just cover it to where the airport. It looks like it's going to be clear. He said yeah. we're going to take off at 1240. Uh, yeah, take 1245. We'll be sitting there. Okay. Let me call AccuWeather, see if I could do a 1230 hit. I miss my 1145. <laughs> a little scatterbrained sometimes. <laughs> Hey, Doug, I see that I've missed my 12.45. Um, can you uh, get, get me on at 12.30 uh, Central? One, if you can get me on at 12.30 Central, then we take off at 12.35. You can get me in at 12.30? Okay, just text me. T text me if you can. I'll be right in front of it. Okay. Okay. All right. Awesome. Thanks. Okay. Thank you, guys. I'll sign in. Okay. You bumped it to 1230. Cool. That'll just... It's, um, I, I do like live hits for them and stuff, so they're doing like live coverage. They're kind of like the weather channel, so, yeah. Uh, I've worked with them since like 2014 or so. Do you know Todd Ross? Todd Ross? The name definitely sounds familiar. He's like an he was on the weather channel for a while. Oh, wow. Yeah, the name sounds familiar. I probably saw him on the weather channel. And Really? Yeah. Is he on there on the Weather Channel today? Yeah. 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 We're, we're good friends with Jim. So you must see him every. Yeah. 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 During Hurricane Adalia, we were across the street from each other with the. People are like, what's happening? Here's what's happening. Excuse me. Reed's going on a plane to get above the cloud deck to get an unobstructed view of the eclipse, which should be pretty rad. We won't be able to see that like the totality on the live stream. Once they go above 7,000 feet or so, we'll probably lose the signal, maybe even before that. Um, but we have GoPros in there. We're recording the, the you know, pilot audio, all that good stuff. Um, so it 
it'll make a good video for sure. Um, and it should be pretty awesome for Reed. Um, so we're going to stick with them as long as we possibly can. And then when we can maintain our connection no longer, uh, I am going to flip a switch and then go out onto my roof right here <laughs> uh, in Austin, in the totality, uh, and man the 500 millimeter telescope for you. So it's like a big, it's like the full frame should be awesome if we could get the clouds to cooperate. And so this is Austin, this is, this is Texas. And this is pretty much where Austin is in Travis County. And so if you keep an eye on that and I animate it, I'm a little, so we're, we're looking right here. We have breaks in the clouds, but it looks like a big blanket is coming too. So we'll see. Hopefully it just all burns off. We shall see. Um, but yeah, we're prepped. We have a cool telescope. Hopefully we get breaks in the clouds. Reed's going up. He's coming down. Then we chase because we have... An enhanced risk today, we have an enhanced risk tomorrow, and we have an enhanced risk the day after that. So it's three days of chasing, and the tornado probability, this is the big area. So it includes Austin, so I'll be keeping my head on a swivel today. Um, it includes Dallas, Fort Worth, Arlington, Plano. So eclipse stuff, hopefully we get a look at it. Um, but then after that, then we have a chase, which is, should be a, a pretty interesting chase. Again, enhanced risk, huge 5% area today. You know, there's 13 million people that are in this area. So um, everybody in Texas, head on a swivel. Uh, let's see what they're up to at the airport. I'm gonna have to like run over, yeah. move boards. Should be able to find a nice little area to cover if we're down here. Yeah. Uh, yes, so we're they're in uh, Texas. Uh, they're they're in Austin right now, and uh, yeah, when they land, they're just chasing from there. So we hit the road, then we go. For those of you watching NASA, they might have a better view than we do, but you know, just keep us open in another browser tab. Everybody, we'll be live uh, probably up till 7,000 feet above that. We're going to shift to the ground coverage with Edgar. And then I'll show you all the footage as soon as I land. I'm going to get that sent up to you, Brian. Milk. The milk built in just last second. Yeah, it is like. Yeah. All right, this, this is going to be awesome. Stand by. Okay. 
I gotta call in real quick. Got you. You gonna hook yes for this? You did? Oh, you're like, already? It's too early now. <laughs> oh, you did? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Whoops. Is it up there? Can you see it? I don't know. No, it's like, it's <laughs> hidden right now, but. You're going to see floaters now. She's like, maybe she just sees a plane and like, I ain't getting on that thing. I can hold her if you want. Severe weather is going to get an early start today, I think, maybe yeah, too. I think it is. It's not too much up there. Yeah, right got the bubblers going already. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, I'll take myself blind for you. I know, right? Yeah. Might be important, you know. Pilot, you know. <laughs> well, you're, you're going, right? Just see a little bit. Really guess. I bet Reed could just take over. <laughs> All right. Don't worry about looking, we'll just listen. <laughs> Getting ready to cover the eclipse, everybody. So awesome how they just let you pull your car right up here. You can unload everything. Oh yeah, so yeah. rad. Put everything in, and only to check it. Okay, ready. I might have to have my ear up a little close to hear the question, and then I'll pull it back. <laughs> Behind the scenes of live weather, guys, right here. This is it.
nice that it moved in with that subtropical jet. You can also feel the moisture as well though as the dew points are rising up uh, through the upper 60s. But we're about to go up in this jet plane. It's a Cirrus aircraft. We're going to get above that cloud deck to view the solar eclipse from aloft. Here is our trusted pilot, Matt. He's going to be taking us up there. We're about to go up through the different cloud decks. That sky as well, the co-pilot. And uh, we are going to be going up above the clouds to see that eclipse. We're going to see the beautiful underlayer of the clouds back below. And then we're going to be landing just in time to activate our storm, uh, storm chase as there is a warm front that's lifting north of this area. We expect that to be the focus for supercell development at about 3 to 4 p.m., probably up near Waco. And then we're going to chase those storms off to the east, and they'll be capable of all hazards, including isolated tornadoes and gorilla hail. All right, thanks, Reed. I am so excited to see you <laughs> well, we are going to continue to check right back in with you as you go through the air and then you come back down and chase severe weather a little bit later on. Hopefully without the parachute. Work. Good timing. That guy turned it off. Yeah. 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 This was a star. You. Yeah. This was her. Yeah. She's photogenic. She always puts on a show. So. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Ready to get in? Yeah. Ready to get in? Yeah. yeah. We meet at off time. So we're good to go, guys. Well, okay. see you again. It's been. <laughs> yeah, but, you know. <laughs> if you see us, <laughs> oh, I'm going to try to cover it live. Great. Yeah. Read stream <laughs> coming down. It'll be great. Hi, Gizzy. Oh. Oh, yeah, right. I'm gonna hop in the back. Okay. All right. Good luck. Good luck to you, man. Get some awesome footage. It looks like there are some breaks here, even. So. Yeah. yeah. We'll see. I'll, I'll look at the sat as soon as I get back and just try to find yeah. it. Yeah. Good yeah. luck. Yeah. Good luck, Gizzy. Bye, Gizmo. Okay. <laughs> see you, Gizzy. See ya. Look with Edgar. Get a good nap and enjoy the eclipse. Okay. I'll make sure she has her eclipse glasses on. Yeah. Yeah, I get out on this side. If I get out on this yeah, side. Just walk right up on the uh, so side this. paper looking material. Okay. Oh, the GoPro, you have that? Did you give that to me? Uh, I got the GoPro right okay. here. Very nice. So we'll do GoPro and we'll do the back phone. <laughs> wow. Thanks. <laughs> all should work. Just sit, sit in there, right? Yep. Oh. Uh, it's a uh... <laughs> That'll be flexible. Here we go. Good Here. luck. <laughs> Dominator Airlines. <laughs> Bye, Gizmo. This is the Dominator 5. I can stand in front when you start the prop, right? Yeah, yeah. So, I'll stay away from it. Okay, it's a little distance. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, put the seatbelt on. Seatbelt's on. How are you doing back there, room wise, Sky? I'm good? I'm doing good. Okay. Y'all have plenty of room if y'all need to seat it back. Okay. And it's a loosen them up your, on your left and right. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Okay. Loosen up left and right. And uh, mm -hmm. if anyone needs lens wipes for their phones, GoPro or anything? Uh, it, should I connect the GoPro or wait until uh, we're up? You can wait till yeah. You, yeah just wait the battery on that for a sec. Yeah. And if you want, I want to get the engine running. Okay. Um, this is going to be. This should just give you a direct. Audio. Oh. So you can just. Okay. Fantastic. Yeah. 
Okay. And then, uh, do I shut the door anytime soon? Uh, Should I? Yeah, you can shut it right now. Okay. <laughs> Just shut it, Just latch shut it. it. Okay. That's left. Is that right. good? Okay. Good. You don't want that to pop open, right? Mm -mm. Would that be really bad? Actually, the wind will usually just keep the pressure on it and keep mm -hmm. it closed, but yeah, we don't want it. For that, so there's our fuel. Got a little extra gas today. Oh, wow, this is awesome. Okay, let's make sure it all looks good. Okay, we're gonna just wait the engine out. Here's Matt, trusted pilot. Sky dominating. <laughs> yeah, all right. Uh, back for it. Yeah. Well, <laughs> okay. Okay. Two, three, four, five. And the AC will kick on once you're in the air. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> So just to let you guys know, uh, those of you just joining, we're going to stream as long as we can. But once Reed goes over about 7,000 feet, it's probably going to cut out. They're going to be up there. And when that happens, uh, I am going to try to get us. I'm also in Austin, which is in the totality. I'm going to try to get us a good look with this telescope on the roof without breaking my neck. And then when Reed lands, he's going to start chasing. He's going to send me his footage too. I'm going to show you some of what he does, uh, what he got up there. And also while he's up in the air, we have Connor Croft in Dallas and Edgar is going to be searching for some breaks in the clouds. So we're on a hunt today. This is, this is kind of like a storm chase, an eclipse chase on a cloudy day. This is the current cloud deck. We are, this is Austin right in the middle here. All right. So, we are a bit socked in at the moment, so we need this to burn off. Anyway.
ever stolen before? Oh, come on. Hopefully we can at least see takeoff. All right. Oh. Again, right above me, this is the cloud cover. This is Austin right here. They're about, you know, I'm about, you know. Uh, okay, so for everybody wondering, I mean, the the eclipse has started. Um, the moon is moving over the sun right now. Can't see anything where I am right now. I'm squarely socked in. Um, they are scheduled to take off at 1 p.m. and land at 1.53 p.m. The totality will last about four minutes uh, at max in the middle, which I think that's where they're going to. And they're back.
Bet you were getting to the limit here. It's pretty awesome. Pretty jealous. That's a once in a lifetime. Because they, so they're going above the clouds and they're flying like right into the very very middle of the path. Um, so what we have to do. <laughs> so I'll leave them up there in case they go. Uh, they reestablish signal. But here's wait a second. So we got, I got, I got to turn off the roads. <laughs> yeah. So this is, uh, basically Austin. Oh, wait, This is Austin. This is where we have the telescope ready to go, but cloud covers pretty bad. Uh, but we have Connor. He's up here in Dallas, Fort Worth, and he's hunting for a break in the clouds. And also Edgar's on the ground here in Austin too, trying to find a break in the clouds. It does look like we have a pretty thick blanket of clouds coming up here just in time to obstruct the view perfectly. What are you going to do? Get in an airplane. Know somebody who has a cool airplane. That's what, that's what you do. All right, hold on. Because now, now we got to switch over a couple things here. Because we got Edgar. Got Edgar going. Uh, yeah. There's Connor. Got to pipe in Edward, Edward, Edgar. There's Reed again. There's our cloud cover. All right, I'm going to pop you over to Connor. In a moment here, because I feel like he has the best chance to, to see something. We got ground coverage here over here. Reed's going to be up in the air. And right now we're just trying to get out of the cloud. We are finding some clearing now. We're headed towards McKinney, Texas. McKinney, Texas for a quick eclipse intercept. And then we're blasting west for severe weather. Okay, take a look at satellite here. Look at that. Big cloud streak right over where we were set up. We were set up just off to the east of McKinney and now we're having to blast towards McKinney on the very edge of totality to have a chance at seeing it. You can see where we are a little bit more clear here behind us. There are a ton of clouds so that's what I'm doing right now. I'd like to be sitting observing the eclipse uh, but instead we're trying to find areas of no clouds but uh, it's difficult when you're trying to get in position for severe weather and also intercept the eclipse because usually severe weather comes with clouds and so uh, it definitely is getting a little bit better up here we might be able to stop soon actually uh, but we're getting towards McKinney Texas there's just a little bit of clearing I'm hopefully hopefully it holds off for the eclipse and uh, once I get there uh, I got the solar little solar cover right there for the phone or whatever you call it solar lens uh, and I should be able to position the phone where it'll be pointing at the sun with that solar lens on. And so you guys will get both perspective from the air with Reed and from the ground with me down here in McKinney. Uh, but right now I'm just blasting on whatever highway this is. Don't ask me what highway it is. I have no clue towards McKinney because here we go. Sun's coming out. All right. That didn't work. I don't, even, I don't think it ever focused. But uh, sun is coming out here. We should be in partial eclipse right now. Should, it should be starting. I think totality is in like 30 minutes or something. Probably shouldn't look at it, but yeah, we, we found some uh, sun. Looks like. Hopefully it's enough. Watch. It'll be one of those big clouds right there, just right in the path of the sun during totality, but it is what it is. Uh, it's definitely, this is our best chance over here towards McKinney. It's where the most clearing is occurring. You can see that big clearing patch right there. So... 
here go and how do we lose service in the middle of town who knows man Up good service here. I'm not sure what the problem is. I think we switched from LTE to 5G, so that could have been the problem. Yeah, we're just have to find a parking lot here in McKinney and hope for the best, chat. Let's hope for the best. Hopefully we get an angle. If not, hopefully Reed's live up in the air. I still don't really understand how that works or what he's doing or how he's gonna stream it or really anything, but hopefully he gets a cool view and hopefully it's streamed. We just have to find a parking lot here in the next 30 minutes. We, I mean, we still have like 30 minutes for totality, so we should be okay. And the moment, I don't even know if I'm still up because I lost signal, but the moment, I could be talking to myself, the moment totality ends, we are blasting west towards, and I don't have service again. Come on, really? And we're back. Totality ends. Blasting west towards Lubbock. Oh, Reed's not live anymore. Okay, so Reed's up in the air and he's not live. Interesting. Okay, well, I guess I guess it's up to me then. Hopefully I can find a clear parking lot. Yeah, I got you, Brian. Like, I'm going to try and find a clearing. I really hope we can find one. But for some reason, last night the models had this area right here. No clouds. It was like the only area with no clouds. And so... I was hoping it'd be right, but there are a lot of low-level cumulus. The good thing is, is usually when totality happens, ooh, this transmission might have slipped there anyway. Usually when totality happens, uh, you lose surface heating, and so any cumulus clouds can disappear. So I'm hoping once we get really close to totality, all these little cumulus clouds you were just seeing uh, go away. That's the hope anyway. Uh, the last eclipse in 2017, there was a cumulus field across, I think it was somewhere in Kansas. And when totality happened, that cumulus field just disappeared entirely. And so that's what I'm going for here. Did Freddy just turn off right there? No, that wasn't Freddy. Got uh, Freddy and Storm Runner Media, two other storm chasing channels, trying to find a parking lot here as I was messing around trying to get this stream to work. Sun is out right now, actually. There we go. It's happening. Somewhere right in here, Freddy. Somewhere right in here should be good, dude. Just streaming off my phone here, guys. Don't even uh, have a phone mount in the car or anything, so sorry if it's a little bit wobbly. It's kind of a last second throw together. I wasn't even planning on going live for the eclipse, but here we are. Ready to document the eclipse and a tornado in the same day, right here on the Reed Timmer channel. Kind of jealous of Reed. Would you would you guys chat? Would you guys go up in the air like that on a plane to see the eclipse? Would you guys do that? I would totally do it. That's gonna be a once in a lifetime experience. I mean the eclipse in general could be a once in a lifetime experience, but for Reed, that's gonna be a once in a I don't even know how long experience. Look at this guy. It's clearing out right in McKinney. Look at that clearing. It's clearing out right here. <coughs> We're starting to get some clearing. Could be huge. Somewhere right in here should work, Freddy. My other phone fell into the abyss between my dash and my uh, seat. See a lot of yeses and nos in the chat. I am kind of, I like, I'm kind of scared of heights. Not gonna lie, usually I don't like planes, but for the eclipse like this, I would totally do it. Like I would just swallow my. Uh, swallow my fear and get up there because that's going to be so insane. He's, de he's definitely going to have some crazy footage to show you guys later. 
Yeah, but I mean, we should stop here soon. We might be stopping right here in the tractor. We're going to Tractor Supply, it looks like. Could be a great place, Tractor Supply parking lot. And then I'll, uh, I'll get you guys set up so we can look at this thing. Because it should be starting. Tractor supply. Sorry guys, this is a this is a mess in here. Like I said, this is kind of a last second throw together, be able to live stream type deal. I was not prepared as well as I should have been. Got an instant oil change over there. All right, here's our, okay, sorry guys, hold on. Here's our solar lens, okay? I'm gonna tape this to the phone during uh, the moments getting close to totality and, and then obviously I'll take it off during totality and this is how we're gonna see. Trust me, you'll be able to see the sun. So actually I'm gonna get out and show you guys that right now. Hopefully my phone has enough battery, 36%. Fingers crossed, it lasts us. Okay, I need my own glasses too. Need my own glasses here. Is it happening? Is it enough? Yeah, I mean, it is what it is. Like, yeah, hopefully, like, this is as good as we're going to get. Like, it's yeah. as clear as it gets, so. I mean, that, I, I think it's slowly turned off here, but. There it is. There it is. Is it happening? Okay. It might be happening. Where's your glasses, bro? <laughs> oh, right here on top of the car. Oh, you better. Let me see this thing. I, I noticed satellites starting to, like, darken, so. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's so happening. I think the edge is taken. Yeah, it's so happening. It's happening, chat. It's like 70%. Like I said, I'll set it up to be more... I'll set it up to be more stable, guys, once it, like, is actually happening. Here, can you hold this for a second so I can... You're on Reed. Like, Reed's in the area. He doesn't have connection anymore. Oh, really? Okay, what's up, guys? It's Freddy. Oh, I get, look at that. I guess I can't... Wow, that looks... Should I show him it with, like, the... Without the thing on? Or? Uh, probably not yeah. a good idea. Yeah, we don't want to burn the lens out, so... Let me, see, let me see if the lens looks better than the... Yeah, try it. Try, try the glasses, because that thing, like, it, it didn't look as good on the... Sorry, guys. Like I said, this is all... That was a big freaking cloud right there. All right. We'll see if it goes through the cloud. Yeah, big cloud. All right. It's about to start raining here. It's yeah, it might start raining. Is. All right. We'll, we'll do attempt number two when the clouds go away, but... Big old fat cumulus cloud. Should I set up a GoPro and see what happens? Maybe. Like, look at this. We got clearing there. Clearing right here and then boom, big old cloud right here. But it's got 30 minutes to get out of the way. We gotta make this happen. It's gotta happen. Yeah. It's kind of stressful. Yeah, I know. Like I was, I, I thought it got so stressful. It got extremely stressful. I thought we were just gonna sit back and enjoy it, and then there's, and then now it's just clouds. It's more stressful than like actual storm chasing. <laughs> it might be honestly. Well, like storm chasing, you miss a storm. It's like, oh okay, on to the next one. On to tomorrow. But this. <laughs> You missed the eclipse. It's like, okay. Oh, 50 years. 50 years. <laughs> we can see one in 50 years, I guess, if I'm alive. Gosh, I don't want to burn the, burn the, sensor. Burn the GoPro sensor out. Oh, my bad, guys. My big finger's in the way. Wait, maybe... Oh, I, I was showing you guys the wrong way, I think. Hold on. All right, now it's completely covered by the cloud. It's right there. Better be cloudy right now than, uh, I'd rather it be cloudy right now than cloudy like when it's, like it's actually getting intense, so. Yeah, I, I mean, it's trying to clear. What do we got going on here? What's going on, Garrett? He's, he's making sure that Starlink is locked. Might be able to like mount the phone on. I don't even know how I'm gonna mount it. Oh wait, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Oh, look at that chat. No. Probably not. Dude. I know, I can't see it either. It's just because it's, it's physically so bright that like, my eyes can't see it. 
Yeah, it's going by in the cloud again. Trying to set this up right, but. It's like a fine balance of not blinding myself, but also like yeah. being able to put the phone where it how like long, looks good. How long can you stare at it before it like? Yeah, pro I don't know. <laughs> oh wow, DL's done, bro. Count your count your days, DL. Dude, it looks so much better through my glasses than my phone. I'm kind of getting mad. Yeah, like I want, I want it to look really good. Just like, just go. Hold on. Like you can't even like see what's I mean, happening. With the, with the 5x and everything. Yeah, well, if I zoom in a lot, it just like won't focus. Well, let's let's try to dial that focus in. It's, we got to be able to get that focus. To that, right? Yeah, I mean, what, I just have it on auto. We'll try, let's go again. I'm also trying not to blind myself. Focus. Nope, nope, no, not that. It's gonna be like. Where's all? Where's focus, bro? Oh, like thanks. Or yeah. Eat your heart out, NASA. Can't match this. All right, guys. I had to lock in. Uh, I had to fix the focus. It's happening. Now it's back under a cloud, but. Hey, we got it locked in now, guys. Yeah, it's, it's all right, guys. Yeah, well, your, se your sensor is going to get fried, buddy. <laughs> Dude, bro is, bro is going to fry his sensor. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, bro's phone is cooked in about five minutes. He's not even going to make it to totality. It's just, yeah. Just... All right, let's try and, all right, this is getting close, so let's try and. Wait, which side do I put it through? This one or this one? Yeah. Wait, which side do I put it through? This one or this one? This or this? It matters, right? Does it, does it matter? I don't know. I, I feel like Yeah, I went back to auto, bro. Wow, that's bright. It might be going blind. No, my tape blew off. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? DL, I need a new piece of tape. Okay, all right. Hold on, I got it. This is for like how many people? Yeah, it's like 10,000 people or something. Okay, good. I can actually like look up for a second. Dude, I keep trying to like make it so it like works. Guys, I could see it. I could see it. I'm going to run up to the roof. My wife is going to run VMix for a second. It's going to get weird for a sec. Uh, be right back. Thank you. No, no! Come back! See, what is happening? If you guys come check out my phone, I got a great view of it right now. Nice. Oh, wow. Well, actually, just, it just... I, I mean... Maybe, maybe you just stream... I mean, I don't even... I don't even stream on this phone, so I might just fry the... I might just fry it. Like, why not? Why not just fry it, right? I still gotta get this GoPro. Dude, I'm selling. 
the whole chat is probably like Elk Dude, the whole the whole re chat is probably like what is happening right now? <laughs> Alright, well now it's behind the cloud, so I can't even see with my glasses. Oh wait, it's coming back out in a second, guys. I'm just holding on to hope at this point. I mean, it's been the game of I gotta get off Twitter. I'm not open Twitter. I need to be able to look at it and get my phone right. I need like, I don't even know, bro. Like, I'm just trying to like. Gosh, dude. Whenever I look up like that, I'm afraid I'm gonna go blind. I've been like low-key staring at it for the last five minutes. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I, might be, I might be cooked. Like trying to stream this is actually like such a, so hard. It's like, it might be like 70% or like not 70%. There's seventy percent of the sun up there. Watch them kick us out. Kick us out of the parking lot. <laughs> just we might have to go in and buy like a plant or something. Yeah, I'll, I'll just go buy. A, I'll go buy a, a fresh, flagrant herb. Hey, we can get a grill now. Yeah, we can get the grill we were looking for. This guy's phone is cooked. He's gonna go to stream tornadoes later today, and his sensor is just gonna be like gray. Just absolutely fried. He's just gonna take Garrett's phone. Oh. I can't even see it. No, dude. Why are there so many clouds again? Why is the clearing <coughs> up there now? Now the clearing's over here. Gosh. Where is he? Like, In the air. I don't know. I, I don't know. He's just up there. He's up there somewhere, guys. Just hear like a. A just, jet mm, just he's, in, uh, he's in like a literal jet. <laughs> Rip Freddy's GoPro. His little GoPro time lapse is ruined. Holy Are we stay, dude? Can this thing please stay on fixed focus, please? I will do anything. It's like right up there, just clouds. I don't know. It's too late to like move. We just gotta hope that that comes this way we need the, the wind emoji to blow it all the probably putting it on a hail dent or something why did you lift yesterday my arms <laughs> you're supposed to no pain yeah my arms feel great after that i got a nice bicep pump last night in that hotel weight room i feel great out here There it is again. Wow, we're getting close. And back under the cloud we go. Well, you saw it for a second, chat. Yeah, might be coming in again. Dude, I just want to... But the, to be able to point the camera at it, I have to look at it. And so it's like... Maybe you just need to, like, rock these. Rock these for me. Yeah, but I can't see through can't those. See. So it's like, it doesn't even, like, matter. Should we try out the count? See if, like, that, dude, like, let's try it. it. Let's try it. Let's try it. Like, I forgot about it. Let's see if we can do it, dude. See if we can max safe it to the back of my trunk or Where something. Did the go on the satellite? Oh, look at that. It's about to clear out right here. We're going to get, like, a prolonged visual. Just... We're going to try something here, chat. I don't, I don't know if it's going to work, but I mean, we'll see what happens. it's worth a try, I guess. Maybe we can max save it Just like, like the window with the angle, maybe? Maybe. That might help. I mean, that's so dirty, bro, but... Like, 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 like could we just like... Yeah, wait, yeah, wait, yeah, wait, yeah. Wait, hold on. Might work, guys. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Okay, it needs to be like might, literally bent straight down. We might down. actually be able to figure this out. Okay, okay. Does the max save? Yeah, 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 there we go. Okay, well, oh, oh, oh my gosh, it, it might work. Dude, dude, this might actually It might work. work. Okay. There it is. You can see. You, okay, you can see it right now. 
$20 Amazon mount might be cooking here. I need it even more almost. Well, we can, yeah, oh my gosh. This is this is it. And then I can okay, let's see if it oh. let's see if it works with this flipped on it. Let's see if it works with this. Does, oh, look at the clearing will clearing. it work through this? Oh my gosh, it works it's through working. it. You wait, can wait, see wait. it. You can see it. Is it perfect? It's perfect, dude. It might be perfect. Like the sun's not out right now, chat, but Okay, this is so easy. Flip on, flip off. Who needs NASA when you got this? Yeah, facts. Look at that. You can see it a little bit through the clouds there. The moment the sun comes out, I'll put it back on so I don't fry my sensor. Dude, it's about to get really sunny, I think. Huge clearing coming in. Here comes the clearing. Let's go. All right. Time to put this back on. Real quick. Boom. Wait, are we still auto? We better, we better be manual focus right now, bro. No, I do, dude. If this thing goes to auto one more time, I'm gonna quit. Okay, let's try it now. Actually, I need a little bit of cloud cover because if not, then the camera like loses itself. Okay, I'm just gonna leave it right here, guys. I'm sorry. If I keep playing with it, I'm gonna mess it up again. When the sun comes out, you should be able to see it. Can't reach out either. My, the phone's gonna die too. Like yeah, dude, my phone's at like 25. I'm just like hoping it lasts. Mine's at 10. Oh wow, yeah, so that's not even worse. What time is it? Yeah, you can't see it right now, guys. You can't, you can't see it. So I gotta hold this for another 20 minutes. Your mount just came in unbelievably clutch. It's just gonna fall off when the eclipse happens. Right, yeah. Well, <laughs> like, can you see it? Yeah, you can see it. There it is. Oh, look at it. I'm Dude. Like wow, there it is. We're gonna get like, what is it? Like probably a minute of totality here. I think three minutes. I mean, three we're not, we're, we're on the, we're on the that's edge. What, that's what Garrett said. We're three on the minutes. edge of it, so we probably won't get very long. Yeah, I said three minutes. If we get three minutes. I'll be hyped. So I'm actually going to I've be never so been in like, I said, I said McKinney, just over three minutes. Dude, in McKinney, in McKinney. I've never, let's I've go. Never seen this this is my first time. I don't know who I'm high five. How right dark does it get? I, I don't know. That's why I like it. Freddie, you've been in a totality, right? Dude, it's like nighttime. It's like nighttime. It's like nighttime with the sunset all the way around. Really? It's crazy, yeah. Yeah, that's It's going to be nuts. Wow. This is okay. the first time just, I've been to... Okay. I just looked don't right look directly right into, into it. Don't I just looked right. Brian told me to figure out some sort of mounting system, even though I didn't, and I did, Brian, so... I did I did it, Brian. Well, it's actually... It's my mount, so... It, just, it, 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 it was all me. <laughs> it's my mount. No, just kidding. They, sh shout out to Freddie for the mount. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, my gosh. It's happening. <laughs> Dude, look at the clearing coming up. Dude, what, if the, what if these clouds just like come in from the? From I know, the dude. Dude, I'm scared. There's too many clouds still. Ah. I honestly need a little bit of. Dude, this is so actually good. kind of funny that we're in McKinney, Texas. Bro, bro, right we are rooting for. Uh, yeah, Freddie Literally. McKinney is watching the eclipse in McKinney, Texas. <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing. Dude, there's Man, like there's a there's a, there's a scales <laughs> there's a scales road in Arkansas, bro. I wish I was there. What? Right? That's my that's my last name. There's a Scales Road? Yeah, there's a Scales Road. We'll have to hit that one up next. <laughs> I just gonna watch it there. <laughs> Guys, I'm sorry. Okay, you know what? Let's go. This is like better than the NASA stream, I bet. Yeah, I mean, NASA ain't got Like, nothing. NASA's got nothing on me. Like, come on. <laughs> just... Who needs NASA when you got... Reed Timmer and Connor Croft on the Red Zone live stream with the help of Freddie and his mouth. That's like the dream team. <laughs> Freddie's <laughs> yeah, the mouth not came in so close. Not Freddie, just his mouth. Yeah, not me, guys. Don't just, worry about me. Just, just the mouth. mouth. The mouth included. Don't care the about the human. You know? yeah, just care about the human. Just the mouth. Yeah, wait, wait. What time, what time is it supposed to happen? Ten minutes, right? Ten minutes? Ten minutes till totality? Oh, my gosh. Wait, really? Yeah. Guys, I'm gonna yeah, go. It's just too dark. It's freaking out. It's just too dark. The, the, this, this, this is just yeah. too dark. Totality begins at 1342, so 142. Um, should we tell him that it's actually not? That is This is about to be epic. It's 22. Another minutes 10 minutes. It's 22 minutes per minute. Okay, and apparently it's 22 minutes away. 22 Wait, minutes away. We're not going to be able to leave 13, it to like... 13.42. Right? We're not going to be able to leave it to like 2. We're going to have a... It's going to be tough reaching those west storms. I thought we'd be like... On the we're going to have like to... One. All I'm saying is, is you, we better fire up that radar detector. 
<laughs> oh, but I think this is oh, Brian. I think this is Brian. You might have to let the fool in. I think that's Brian. That's Brian's I think so. Let's go. Oh. Let's go, Brian. W. Brian. Let's go, Brian. Yeah, I'm not even on anymore, but let's go, Brian. We'll kicked you off. Yeah, I got kicked off you for Brian. Yeah, booted off the stream. I looked at it too much. Dude, I think he went back now. Dude, why did he get so many? He get like 2K, bro. Maybe because he was the only one. So no, but he, he, he was the only one pointing at the sun. Yeah, oh. like he was pointing at it, so everybody's probably like, he's, here we go. This is a whole different thing though, because you have to you have to be sitting in. Yeah. Right, that's it. I'm going live now, guys. Yep. <laughs> I mean, that would be pretty high. I wonder how many viewers I'd get if I just went live for like 15, Maybe. 20 minutes. Just, just quick, just quick, just like, like a quick one. 30k yeah. stream, 30k view stream. <laughs> I mean, it actually, I, nah, I, dude, Ryan's I'm top stream ever is gonna be an eclipse stream. Listen. Listen, I mean, whenever you gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah, right? whatever works. Whatever works. It's so Maybe funny this will be like, like after this. It's getting darker. Like, it's getting darker. So, like, it looks like the moon's going Everything away. is getting darker. Yeah, it is getting darker. Yeah. I just need to start just like rolling videos. I feel like it cooled down a few It did cool down maybe a little bit. Maybe that'll mean these cumulus just go away. Shoot, that's getting a little colder. I need like a 20 foot power cord. <laughs> Wait, wait, hold on. Wait, charge? what iPhone is that? iPhone 14. We have we have longer charges. I just need to go for that one. We got the oh. uh, the old GoPro time lapse rolling here, which is probably oh, it's right in the center. Oh, one. Huh? Just one of the long ones. Yes. Is this long enough? Uh, no, we, we, we have one. I was just trying to get his attention. Oh, yeah. okay. I thought... right, we're good. Thank you, though. All right, we're safe, guys. We're good. Woo. Another thing that's nice about Moblin, too, is you can set the exposure. So I have the exposure all the way down. So it can have you. Like, because like I, I, the, the, the lens is too dark. I still so, have like, not gotten it set up yet. Well, I guess thought about doing it, but... Before, before we head back to Arizona, we were getting it set up. Like this. Yeah, we'll just try it out see how it works. Are we good? Oh, yeah. It's, it's right in the center of the frame. It's, are you on, like, the, the third lens, the like telephoto? Perfect. I don't even yeah, know what I'm on. You, 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 you want to be on telephoto. <laughs> really? If, well, if, if you're you want to be on the zoom it, lens, then you already are. Make sure you're on are the you, zoom lens. Are you on lyrics? Yeah. Yeah, if you're already zoomed in, then it's automatically using telephoto. Yeah. Is it really? Yeah. Not if you're on manual focus. No. Well, he's on manual focus, right? Well, maybe yeah. focus will all. You have to make sure point. you're on the lens if you're doing it on manual focus, right? Now that works. I don't even know, but I'm cooking, bro. I yeah, don't even so know, it, but if we're a, getting it, guys. I promise you, if you have a close view of it, you're on telephoto because the regular wide lens can't see that close. Holy cow, guys! Oh, the cicadas with the guns. The cicadas, dude. Oh my gosh. I don't know why, but my phone is on fire. <laughs> Dude, I just got so scared for a second. I, uh, for some reason, my phone switched to uh, read stream, and I saw 911. What? <laughs> Dude, I don't Yeah, you see it getting smaller and smaller. I want to have like a, a camera facing us, just like a reaction camera. Never know. Hey, I found my pomade. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Where's our extra mount? Our extra foam mount? Yeah. Uh, it might be the one that's All right, you guys saw that for a few, right? Telescope. I got socked in a little bit, but I'll go back up in a few uh, when it clears up. But that was a pretty awesome view. Am I right? Like, come on. Let's get some likes. That was all, that was that was really cool. So it's still gonna go for a while now too. All the exact times are down here. So the totality starts in ten minutes, and hopefully it clears out on my roof so we could see that that perfect. Oh, 
looks like he's got cloud cover too. So this is, again, we're down here. And somehow we got to look through these clouds right here. Connor is up. He's up here, so he's got a little bit easier. That's why he's over there. And we also have Edgar checking it out. So it looks like, yeah, we're each taking turns. I can clearly see looking at my backyard that we do not have direct sun here, but Edgar's in North, North Austin. Oh, Edgar's got a pretty good view. It's definitely getting darker, guys. Dude, my eyes feel kind of strained. I'm not even gonna lie. I think I look even watch? I might be the, the, the key is for me, I'm looking at it through the phone. This is when it starts it's turning into like That's what I was doing too. It starts to turn into almost like an Instagram filter. I don't know how to explain it. Yeah, but the, it's like you're Snapchat in an Instagram. Yeah, Dude, I feel like I'm in an Instagram dark filter. That's what I'm saying. Like, that's what I said last time. The lighting. I'm just waiting for the clouds. Go, guys, these clouds. Oh, dude, come on. Uh, no! Come on. Autofocus! Autofocus, no! Don't do that! Now it's like the west of where Bad we focus. Were, like east of where we were. You stupid focus, bro. Stupid focus. Yeah, screw the time. I actually tapped. I tapped the screen and cooked I myself. You, on too. you can do the manual focus and you can do manual exposure. You'd have an amazing shot on that right now. Dang it. I still can do manual exposure. How can you on lyrics? Uh, color temperature, ex exposure. Oh, I guess I can't. Joking. Here comes Joking. the apocalypse. It's happening. I'm just gonna go pure video on the GoPro. I can just like pair them up. Bro, what? Yeah, you can definitely feel the feels like crazy. building look at it wild <laughs> Dude, what, what is this shot of you but I was like look at that there's the sun up there look at what Dude. oh yeah we're getting real close now. oh here we go Oh, there's like nothing. Left. We're getting real close, chat. My phone is okay. My phone is low. It's on red now. Oh no, we gotta no. plug this thing in. What's happening? Okay, okay, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, you gotta uh, plug I this have thing in, bro. Charger, if you need one. Hold on. Let me cook. Just Let me cook. Just Let make sure. Cook. <laughs> no! No, 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 dude, dude, dude. Come, come on, come on, come on. Just, just through here, through here. Oh, okay, okay. Wait, roll the window down. Uh, you gotta go to the other side to do that. No, no, no. He's right here, right here. All right, all right. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. 
Yeah, there yeah, we so go. We'll right. Now earth. we're plugged in. No chance that, of dying. Uh, yellow, the rainbows will turn into the, set, right. the telescope We're just not going to charge. Dude. My phone is not charging. What is happening here? Yeah. Your phone's just like, <laughs> just cut. Why are we not charging? Oh, okay. We're, we're good. We're good. Here we go. Oh, my gosh. It's about to be crazy. The anticipation is just... I know, dude. So Amber. suspenseful right now. <laughs> Look at that. We, we're getting good clearing. Like it, it might it's not. So clear. It now. might not be perfect, but it'll be good enough. It'll be good enough. Dude, what can it be like that? It over. might be like Hopefully. that. Hopefully. How's the clearing screwing you? Because then it's too bright. Then it like oh, the sun you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't lower it down. You can't, you can't see the moon. I've got the exposure of those little Yeah. But then that 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 cover is too strong. So hyped right now. Wait. Do I have another pair? You had one this whole time? Wait. <laughs> yeah, I have another pair. <laughs> it was on the floor then. Yeah, it was okay. this whole time. So you guys uh, just want to use these? Yeah, we'll just. Yeah, we'll just all. Oh, okay. Here go these ones. Those are mine. I remember I bought the, I bought those at Love's. I did, I remember uh, those now. Okay. And then I must, I must have took two from your house. You took two from my house. I must have. What the heck? You took mine and yours. Well, yesterday. Wait, so maybe I took yours that you left. And maybe. No. <laughs> Gosh. Oh god, okay. dude, this is so weird. Why does it feel? I feel like it's darker over there than it is here. Pen trail. It's over. Oh no, guys, here comes. Watch out, yes. Watch out. I was out. noticing that a few minutes ago. Yep, yeah, that, that, that's the yeah. that's the end. Cloud seeding's coming in. It's gonna ruin it. <laughs> 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 ruins the eclipse. <laughs> just, you just see a plane go Whoa, by. Just said it's dark probably because of cloud over the sun, but nah, I nah, nah, nah. Couldn't have been that. <laughs> couldn't have been. Dude, wait, when is it going? Like, I dude, don't I feel know. like it's going slower. Wait, wait, like, what's, what's the exact time it's supposed one, to be? It's supposed to be one forty-two. The one forty-five, yeah. dude. And then the moment one forty-five hits, throw everything in the car and take off. Yeah, yeah it's like all the GoPros just go. Yeah, just even the. I told you guys to go a few minutes ahead. We haven't eaten. I'm going hungry. I mean, I got like, I got some. I told you. I told you you should say that. I don't need food to function. I got a little. Uh, I just need to get on the other side of Dallas and feel like I'm okay. This is my food. Organic cocoa brownie blitz by Dave's Killer Bread. This is my snack if I need it. It's I just so had a cliff bar and I feel so locked in. All I've had is one of these and I'm, I also had a, a bite of my chocolate bunny. Okay, the well, chocolate I, bunny. I just need something. Even if it's just like stopping for like a minute now, I just. Hey, we'll all be on the Zellos, so. I mean, yeah, we'll I mean, I we'll see. We'll, we'll play it by What if we just stop when we get on the outside? So if we're at least out of the traffic. We'll just feel it. Just we, feel we, we gotta it get out of Dallas. We gotta, yeah, we, we gotta, gotta get immediately out of Dallas. If we don't get out of here, we're gonna be, be stuck and then we're never gonna see over to right, like Denton, maybe. Out might be an all stuff burrito type. Oh, guys, look, look, you look right now like switch your eyes. Uh, oh, I'll pass on your eyes. Oh god, dude! Just, just, just with your eyes, you can see it. Nah, it's gonna, the clouds are coming back. Oh yeah, yeah like the together. cloud was like perfectly yeah. shading it, so you could see it. Oh, then there's, 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 here comes the clear spot. No. Here comes the clear spot. Yep, I see it now. It's coming. Oh, it's Sorry, it's like, it's like, it's like, here we go. It's happening. It's like ninety percent. <laughs> Dude, it's so dark. Do any of you have glasses? Yeah, yeah we got. Pair, I think, like, one, one. Yeah, we are yeah, good. We, we are I appreciate good. it. Yeah. I don't want to take your guys' glasses. Oh, no. I, I've already looked at it, and I don't have any kids. Are, are you sure? Yeah. Hey, are these your glasses? Yeah. Sure you, you don't want them? I, I already looked at it. I don't need to look anymore. I can't take the risk. No, no. You, you, just in case you want to look one more time. We can share ours. Yeah. Just in case. Really okay. appreciate it. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful look. rest of your day. Yes. Enjoy, Thank you so enjoy much. Enjoy the eclipse. I just I felt bad. I didn't want to yeah, I don't want to take your glasses. Like we can share. Yeah. I got I got my one sided over here. Dude, I'm still chasing with Kano. Kano? <laughs> yes, dude. That's what my chasing thing on restream is. Chasing with Kano. Chasing with Kano. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Let's Guys, go. you're watching the Chasing with Kano feed. Kano win. Okay, Kano the W. The that you guys are seeing towards the left of your screen that's bouncing around, that's what it actually looks like. Chat, Reed's in the sky. Reed is, like, up there right now. 
He's so high in the air he can't he can't scream. He's There's no service. He flips the eclipse. Yeah. Jet. Reed's in a freaking plane. Doug, Je by the way, Jesse Sampson said my cat is acting Doug. weird. Pretty, oh guys, I forgot about this. The uh, the little like when the eclipse goes over, there's gonna be like this weird like snaky thing. Yeah, on it's the like ground. Like what? It wiggles on the ground, bro. I swear. Bro, am, am I gonna like start tripping, tripping out? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's gonna be. It's like you're it on drugs like you're or something. That I remember. That I remember. Do you remember that? Yeah. Dude, it's wild. Totality, but it happened when it was like yeah, dude. No, it was crazy. And it happens right. I think it happens during and like right before it goes. I, I do have the chat up read stream. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this. Uh, I don't even know if there's uh, audio right now, but we, 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 we got we got chasing with Con chase, chasing with Kano's over here yapping to nobody. Dude, now I have another nickname, Kano. I don't need any more. I don't need any more nicknames, bro. You're talking to the king of nicknames right here. Yeah, but I get called Conrad and like Conalina and just weird stuff. Honestly, like the perfect, it's like kind of up on a hill too here. Just got a great angle. Oh my god, my arm is on fire. <laughs> oh wait, it's almost, it's almost there. There's only a sliver. There. There's only a sliver, chat. Wait, okay, okay. What time was it again? What, what was the time again? 142, 142, 142 137. Holy here cow, here we go. Five minutes. Somebody said Reed's chemtrail will interfere with Connor's shot. <laughs> <laughs> the chemtrail. This is high. I'm gonna be honest. This is way more exciting than Dude, I thought it was. Dude, I'm be. so glad we didn't skip it. It's getting dark, bro. What's See, happening? you guys are the orange fruit of the chase. Facts. <laughs> I don't know what. I even saw the last one, and I'm just like, yeah, I'm just gonna go chase. <laughs> now I'm just like hyped out of my mind. Like you have a tent match tomorrow. This like, I'd rather chase today than tomorrow. Yeah. To be honest, but yeah, yeah, but yeah, 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 yeah. No, you're right. Better today than tomorrow. Oh man. I, got, I can't look. I know you're not supposed to. I want to look at it. Okay, let me see what the glasses are. I'm just looking at the phone. I'm not looking at it. Yeah, dude. Now is like, now, I think now is the time where if you actually look at it, you're like blind. Without the glasses. Like. Oh my gosh, it's phone. so close. It's a sliver. We got to be like a. Literally like a crescent moon. I see it going away. Yeah, I like. I can see it's it. so close. It's actually like. It looks even bigger on the phone than it does at IRL. Like, there's even a smaller sliver than what the phone's showing. Like, it looks bigger on the oh, phone. Oh, dude, it definitely does. It's oh, my gosh, it's almost there. <laughs> it's going to be so high. Let's go. Does You're it get so dark, weird. like, really quickly? Like, yeah, when it's it gets crazy, dark, dude. Like, you, you probably can start to see it coming in. Because, like, it's yeah, like a yeah. hole of darkness, dude. It's a hole of darkness. The moment it goes totality, guys, I'll rip this lens off. It's crazy. Let's go, Garrett. Let's go. Oh. I'm gonna, put, I'm gonna put the glasses down. We don't need. I don't need the glasses anymore. Just get ready to take off the filter. You do not want it <laughs> yeah, on. you do not want the filter on. That'll ruin it. Dude. TTV Storm Shadow says, "Hope Connor looks at it." <laughs> I got a hater and reach. What? I got a hater and reach <laughs> chat. Bro wants me to look at the eclipse. Stare at it for one minute. So Try not to go blind challenge. Here it comes. Oh, it's getting really comes dark. It's getting really dark. Oh, Wait, right at shadow? Oh. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> oh, no. Oh. I remember the shadow. Dude. Like, I don't know what you're saying. It's on the outside, but as you, it's coming. Okay, it's coming. coming it's coming in. We're back. We're back. Just double check the GoPro to make coming sure it's in. Right, right. Oh, it's dead center on the GoPro. Oh my gosh, let's go. Eclipse video about to go crazy. It's dark. It's dead. All right, guys. I gotta switch back. Oh, here we go. You don't is it happening? It. Is it happening? You don't want to miss it. Oh, wait. It's happening. It happens in like a minute or two. Yeah, yeah. I don't know how accurate it is. Look at oh, the my gosh. Wait, wait. Oh, here we go. Wait, I don't see this. Oh, wait. No, no, no. It's happening. It's happening. It's happening. It's happening. It's happening. Here we go. Yeah, right there. You see him? Oh, my going? gosh. They're everywhere. Oh, dude. Why is it getting what, bro? Why? Dude, are the waves. Hey, you see the waves on the ground? Waves on the ground. It's crazy. The, ground. It's crazy. the L, bro, oh. be careful. We do not need DL going blind. Please be careful. Breaking DL. news: DL is blind. <laughs> Garrett is the new driver. It's gonna be. There it is. A little sliver left. Oh, the camera. Oh, 
camera see the waves? There it is. Yeah, look over there. Yeah, yeah. Goes. Dude, I can see the waves everywhere, bro. Look at the birds up there. Oh my god. Birds. Dude, it's getting dark. Let's go. Here, I'm gonna I'm gonna switch the camera like more this way because I feel like we're more over here. Just wanna make sure we get Oh dude, it's about to go. It's about to go. About to go. Right now. Well, dude, it's the, it's the last sliver. It's the last sliver, chat. Look at how small. Look at how small it really is. Let me zoom out. Look at how small it really is. That's how small it is. Look at the ground. Look at go. Yo, you can see. Wait, you can see. Oh, what's happening? Oh wait, hold on. Dude, dude, I just, dude. I just looked at it. Perfectly clear. Oh my god. It's perfectly clear. No way. Dude, look, we got the only. Amazing. Dude, we're the only clear spot around here. Look, all in the circle is cloudy. Oh, there he is. There we go. Wow. There we go. What? Oh, wait. Wait. Dude. And. No, 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 focus. Hold focus, on. Focus. Here it's we gone. Go. Wait, is it gone? Yeah, dude. Take it's it gone. Off. It's gone. Take We're it good. Off. We're good. Take that thing off. Here we go, chat. We got it. Totality. We got it. Dude. There it is. Look at the birds. Chat, look, it's cloudy. It's cloudy all around us, but right here. We just got the perfect clearing. We got the perfect clearing. McKinney, Texas. McKinney, Texas for the win. Yo. Let's go. Dude. 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 Let's go. Look at that. Wow. I'm so hyped I stopped recording. This is incredible. Amazing. I'm so happy. Oh my dude, gosh. Look, look, dude, <laughs> what in the world, dude? Oh, dude, I can see the corona. Dude, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see the corona. Dude, this guy just not care. <laughs> bro, bro does not care about the eclipse. <laughs> dude, could not care less. Dude, never... look at that, man. You can look straight I'm recording this too. That is insane. I don't even Look at it, it's so dark. I think you got a star there in the right. Yeah, what is that, a star? Real quick, you guys. Real, real quick. I just want to show you how dark Wait, it is Wait, it's about to come out, I think. Yeah. I'm going to, dude, I really want to get that shot. Oh, my God. The shot when it comes it is out is awesome. It's nighttime out here, you guys. Okay, it's about to come out, guys. I'm gonna have to put the filter on soon. You, you can keep it yeah, for yeah, like a second, yeah, it's about like for a out. couple seconds. About to pop out. Oh my god, dude, we have a we have a ring of clouds around us. And yeah. Dude, look at the sunset down. Dude, look at the sunset over there. Yeah, look at the sunset there. There, the sunset there, there. the contrails on it. Is that Reed? <laughs> Reed, there's another plane. All right, I gotta zoom you guys back. This guy, this is like oh my god. Oh wait, it's coming. It's coming. So long. Come on, like, see that little red, yep, I dot? Yeah, I can't believe this. Little red dot. How did this get so It's about early? to come out. It's about, dude, we got we're the cloud cover like an hour ago. Dude, we got, as soon as totality goes away, I'm going to show you guys the ring of clouds around everywhere but us. We got so lucky. Good it's call. going for so long. Coming to McKinney, dude. Great call. Dude, McKinney, Texas for the win. The Freddy night, that was our target this morning. That was our target this morning. We woke up, we're like, McKinney, Texas. Dude, we can right. go to the Freddy's right. after. Right. We did, or you guys, I mean. Oh, I weird. I mean, it, was, it was pure luck. I mean, look this at is the satellite. Freddy happened to pick the right tractor supply. Like, dude, this, just, this Why is my, my service name, dwindling? Dude. What's happening? Oh, no. Here it comes. The apocalypse. The apocalypse. It's starting. Oh, here we go, here we go. Here it comes. Oh, look at the sun out. coming back. Look at the sun. It, it gets a little orange yeah. on the right. Here it comes. There it is. It's coming back. It's coming back. Okay, don't look at it anymore, I don't think. Oh, that, dude, that's, that's, that's like really crazy. bright. It's okay, okay. Back. I got to put this filter back on, otherwise my phone is cooked. Real quick. Oh, it's coming back real fast. Coming back really quick, guys. <laughs> there it is. That's amazing. This is like, 
Connor with the stream. Let's go! Oh, let's go! Oh, it'll cool. be a little warmer, God. Just like, yeah, it's got crazy. like three degrees warmer. Wow! Yeah. Immediate temperature increase. Let's go! You we see how dark it is over there, still, but then over there, it's like. Guys, nice. let's go get a tornado. We got it. We got it. We got it. Now we got to get an eclipse and a tornado on the Can same day. Can we get an guys? eclipse That's and a point. tornado on the same day? All right. We got to make it happen. Let's see if I can zoom in on it anymore. It's coming back, guys. It's coming back. W's in the chat. Just W's in the chat. Let's go. We did it. We got it done. We got Dude, it done. How, how's got it looking it. on there? I don't even know. There's Edgar's, Edgar's on there. there. And back Where's your stream? Oh, there it is. Right up top. Oh, actually, yeah. Oh, wait. No, I still got it. Wait, what happened to... Is that Brian? What? I don't know. What, what happened? happened? I don't know. <laughs> Let's go. We absolutely just, just dominated, dominated the eclipse. eclipse. It's coming back, guys. All right, it's, it's back now. So back. Say, where you gotta go? Let's go! Let's go! Guys, look at the ring of clouds all over the station. <laughs> Did not mean to shut off the stream. I was trying to show you guys something, not shut off the stream. Look, we got clouds there. Clouds behind us there. Clouds there. We have a ring of clouds all the way around where the eclipse happened. Right in this tractor supply. Okay, and we do have to beat the Four traffic. Hours, nine minutes to Four hours and nine minutes to, we'll wrap the to the target. Clock. We'll wrap ETA. the stream up. I actually, ETA. I actually, ETA. That, that works. I actually struggled uh, with service there for a second too. I think so. It might have just been. So many people were just sending stuff. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's my guess. There it is, guys. And it's back. Clear skies. And just like that, guys. That it's sunny view. again. They're all around us. It's like there goes the darkness. Like See, it's dark over there. Rider over here, so that that's the shadow. It's all trucking yeah, off yeah, towards yeah. like Arkansas, yeah. Illinois, Missouri, set it towards towards that area. <coughs> I can't believe that dude just was pulled the shopping cart up and just didn't look at it. Like, dude, never. Guy, this guy went into tractor supply during the eclipse, came out <laughs> during totality, did not look at the sun once, did not look up once, <laughs> didn't even look at it. loaded his fertilizer <laughs> into his car yep. oh, and drove God. away. All during totality. In the three minutes he went in, like, I don't need, like, how do you not look at that? Like, that was insane. I have no idea. I have no idea. Like, what even? Dude, like, he just goes, just puts his thing in, just walks in, opens the door. I was like, what? Like, bro, this is like, it's insane. Alrighty, well. Okay, it's almost time. Dude, I'm like, I love this eclipse now. I'm like, so let's hit the next one. Yeah, let's, let's, let's hit the next eclipse. I could, I could watch that over again like 30 times. <laughs> okay, focus, please. I went to the front camera. Sorry, guys. Dude, look at that. Look at that. I recorded the whole... Whoa. Nice. Look at that. Look at that from a distance, Connor, guys. look at this. That's epic time lapse. And it just comes back. Yo! It's wild. Can I show my stream? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Show the stream. Yeah, yeah. Look at this. And it just goes it's completely dark. Darkness. And then it comes and back. It comes back just like that. That's awesome. <laughs> we nailed it. Let's go. <laughs> I thought we weren't even gonna see it. I know, me too. I was I was so down there for a minute. I was like, man, we should have gone to our I was stressing out because I was like, these guys are following me, and I'm like, Dude, where am I that, even going? That's crazy again? how we, it's, it's we like we would have held it against you if we didn't see it. Though. You guys would have been like, it's like never being it's, it's literally like it's day it's like daytime again, guys. It was wild. And it's just like that, like Look at what's going on with the satellite. I have had no idea that that happened. That's crazy. I've never seen anything like that on the satellite. That's the path. That's crazy. That's so cool. So yeah, you can see where they are right now. So they're 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 in Dallas right there. How do I stop? They're in Dallas, or this is from a couple of minutes ago. Awesome. Yeah, I asked for Mott's money. Yeah, ask for money. Wow, new triple wow. great. Great nighttime supercell, oh, big that's lightning great. show. But that's good for us. It's gonna fire earlier though. Oh yeah. Always... All right, let's go. Okay, let's awesome. go. Let's go. All right, guys. Sorry.
do I need here? That concludes uh, the eclipse coverage portion of this from me. Huh? I said, I've seen like five people. We're, we're going to blast ones. west and get <laughs> ready for the ones? severe. There actually is one. Wait, down south? Or no, down south. They have tornado watch today, yeah. Hey, okay. 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 oh, here you go. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah, yeah there you go. There's, 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 your, there's your stream mount back. You might need it. <laughs> you could possibly need that mount. We'll get it. Yeah. We'll be right. fine. Yeah, Asper Mount. I'm good on I'm good on gas. I'm good Yeah, Brian, I don't go live on my channel till like five. And I don't have a phone mount for this, so I I I'm gonna have to like stop the stream. So I don't wanna leave you hanging, but I like I actually don't have a mount for this unless you just want me to stay live like, like this. <laughs> so <laughs> Reed should be landing in a few minutes here. Um. Okay, we got a rejigger yeah, thing. This is what my picture would look like. I mean, I can stay live. Give me a text. Is my cell booster missing? Oh wait, here it is. All right. So let's see. I'm looking at, okay, Reed lands in 11 minutes. So hopefully he's, uh, hopefully he's just like trying to send on the way down and then when we can rejoin him, their, fo their footage is probably, I mean, ridiculous. They're above all the clouds. Um, okay. What are we doing here? Yeah, that on the top left was um, basically as soon as I got up there, <clears throat> you know, all the clouds came in. Then you could see it for half a second. So I got a, a decent view for half a second. But, you know, when the telescope is that distance, you have to like really dial it in. And, and I kept losing the sun because it kept getting caught behind the clouds. So, we got to uh, rewire a couple things, but I mean, this starts the chase day too. So all this cool stuff that happened, this is just, this is, remember, we still have uh, a whole bunch of severe weather today. Yeah, we have a whole bunch of severe weather. Yeah, I guess we could chat with chat for a few. Actually, I gotta, I, I'm gonna have to like, I have to change a couple things in our setup because this was all, if you didn't notice when the, the battery indicator came up, the whole roof setup, everything uh, changed. So, um, so now I gotta kind of re undo some things. Um, but yeah, all right, so let's reset for half a second. I'll still see if we could still see, uh, you know, if it starts to reveal itself here because the partial eclipse doesn't end for another hour here in Austin. So if if I get a break in the clouds, we'll go back up to the telescope because that was a pretty cool view. But yeah, just the, 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 the little, the apocalypto thing. Like I did see that through the clouds like a few times, but it just wasn't long enough to line up the telescope well. Uh, but Connor took care of it with an iPhone and it looked pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, NASA may have like slightly better camera angles, but you know, got the raw passion. We had kind of like, can is he gonna break his neck when he goes up to the roof? Uh oh, like you know, a little danger. Um. Okay, but this is this is today still, um, and you heard Connor. Connor's not going live for a few hours, um, but we're just. We're just going to stay live and Reed is landing again in just in eight minutes. So we're basically going to land, we'll be at the airport, then we get in the car and then we start chasing and then normal coverage begins. 
for the next three days. So storm season's here, eclipse season is here. Dogs and cats living together. But this is so cool. I had no idea that this happened. So this is on, so there are a couple different bands on the satellite. I'm using something called Sat Squatch, but these are for, you could see these for free. Um, so hold on, this is, this is a red visible band. I wonder if like just infrared stuff, I wouldn't expect it to, but I don't know. This is upper upper level water vapor. No, it's not going to show up on this. This is just like the visible. This is a picture from space. Okay, so now we see it's all the way up here now. It's just wild. It's really cool. Just pretty pretty cool okay what's that grew up to uh i'm gonna send you to uh back to connor for a few uh of connor just kind of looking like this for a second am i still on what's going on um, and, uh, Edgar and I are getting the, their stream set back up. So hold on, we'll be right back. in the same day we're heading to Aspermont or I think that's how you say that supercell should fire around 5 p.m. we'll go live I don't know Reed might be staying live I'm not sure but I'll go live Reed will still be live and we'll have coverage over by Aspermont and then maybe coverage with Reed down south if he goes south I'm real I'm not sure I'm still not sure where Reed's chasing he might go west too but Team Dominator is on this. Eclipse. Three days straight of storm chasing, guys, at least. Today's enhanced risk, tomorrow's enhanced risk, Wednesday's enhanced risk. Just non-stop storm chasing here from Team Dominator. Number one place for storm chasing. I need to shave, dude. <laughs> Got to shave. Dude, I'm not gonna lie, I was so nervous, chat. Like, 30 minutes before, like, I went live. Like, we, Brian and I Get the live figured out like it just wasn't working and we finally got it figured out and then there were a bunch of clouds and so i had to move away from the clouds and i'm just happy it all worked out because it seemed like we got a pretty good shot for the stream so that was just incredible We got about four hours to Aspermont. Four hour drive to Aspermont. And it should be like right when the storms are, are starting to get going. So it should be perfect timing. And then we should be able to follow those back. It could be a really good light show tonight. These, these super shows should really keep going even into the overnight hours. And so we should get some really good lightning shots, I'm hoping. And uh, the storm prediction center is saying hail up to four inches in diameter possible. 
Four inches, chat. Absolutely monster hail possible today. Excuse me. Uh, we don't know. We'll probably just stay live. <clears throat> yeah, we'll probably just stay live. Um, and let me take a moment to thank Mason Harris, uh, superstar this season for Team Dominator, gifting 100 memberships. Thank you very much, sir. We appreciate it. Hopefully, uh, if you were gifted one of those memberships, those go out randomly. YouTube just assigns them randomly. And hopefully, if you get it, um, you stick with us because uh, ad revenue on YouTube is always up and down and all these things like that. But memberships give us kind of a steady, predictable thing so we can more confidently invest in like connectivity stuff and more advanced streaming stuff, you know. Um, so memberships are like more solid than ad revenue. Um, and also let me thank Eric Stratton, cool eclipse. Be best part was the pure joy and excitement from Connor and his crew. Really, really nice work by all. Thank you, Eric. We appreciate it. And I think Reed's coming back here. Maybe. I'll keep an eye on it. All targets have pros and cons. I'm choosing the west. Uh, GPS up. Reed's back. Is the read back? Oh, sorry, Brian. <laughs> I literally would just, okay, I'll, I'll do it over. But, so today's setup is interesting. You got two distinct target zones. One across the warm frontal zone, right near from Houston up north towards the DFW area, and then a secondary one further out west. And so what you got is, we're gonna have to pick a target. I'm picking to go west. Reed might play that warm front frontal zone and so what, what you have with the warm front is right now uh, from the Gulf of Mexico you have a warm front lifting north and by that warm front you have pooling dew points like really oh really I have no service might have cut out anyway you have pooling dew points along that warm front is moving northward and as that moves oh dang it, I missed this light as that moves northward you get lift and so we're gonna see convection fire on that warm front but what has a tendency to happen with these type of setups is we get those those storms moving north, but instead of latching onto the warm front and turning right, they keep moving north, north of the warm front. And so that can limit the tornado potential. There is already a tornado watch down there. Um, but, so I'm choosing to go further out west. Uh, more discreet supercells further out west. I'm heading towards Aspermont, uh, back towards Amarillo and Lubbock area. Storms should fire on 4 to 5 p.m. And when that happens, uh, the, the problem with that setup is we have lack of moisture, only 50 dew points reaching that far western target. So the tornado threat might be a bit lower, 
but we should get photogenic supercells that last into the nighttime hour with a narrow window of tornado potential between about 7 and 9 p.m. There's the 5% zone there from the storm prediction center. So really, there's a big enhanced risk, but you have two main corridors of supercell hail uh, and, and tornado potential, and that's out west towards uh, Amarillo and Lubbock, a little bit east of there, but that kind of that general region. And then you also have the warm front that's lifting north from Houston, working its way towards DFW that could also provide supercells capable of all hazards. I do expect a couple tornado reports, maybe from both locations today, but the bigger tornado threat is gonna be tomorrow into Wednesday, already at 10 hatch for tomorrow. Uh, it is possible that we get tornadoes all three days from the system. So uh, it's looking like a very active stretch of weather, all severe weather hazards. I'm playing west today. I, I don't know where Reed is targeting, but we may just go full-blown red zone again tonight with me on the west target, Reed on the target near DFW down south towards Austin. Um, so a lot more storm chasing is on the horizon here from Team Dominator. Eclipse first, just like, just like the thumbnail says, eclipse first, then tornado chase. We're freaking locked in, chat. We're locked in. Let's go. I mean, I'm so distracted. I need to make sure. Okay, I'm on this road for I'm on this road for 87 miles. So like, it says I get to it says I get to Aspermont at 5:50. That should be just in time. Should be just in time. Looks like Reed's back. <coughs> Almost. Looks like Reed is back. Look at that.
Excuse me. All right. So we're frozen here as we're getting out of the uh, airplane. Thanks to our buddy. And uh, <clears throat> so we're going to be switching over to uh, storm chasing mode here. Yeah. Why not just stay live? I'm actually watching the replay of the telescope, which is pretty cool. And Connor's stuff was great. We did it. Yeah, it's a W. <clears throat> All right, everybody's frozen, just chat and I. Let's see. What's up, chat? What do you want to? We want to chat about, I know it's Reed's channel, but he's, you know, disconnected and audio out of sync. Audio is back in sync now. People were getting married during the eclipse. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, the audio is basically all this, you know, we were fixing it, we had it fixed, then it didn't fix. If you saw the stream the other day when I was just wanting to throw my head through the wall. Uh, so I just need to keep resyncing it every few minutes because it does a drift. It's kind of hard to pin down. You're like, graphics card, is it all these other things? So. I honestly don't really know what this is going across the sky. Somebody asking in chat. I mean, I mean, that's like, so this, this feed is called uh, the blue visible band. There's blue visible and red visible band to the satellite along with, um, I, I can't explain the white radar spot. I could guess and I could ask, I could ask AI, I guess. I would blame it on Windows 98. No, it was, it's Windows 11 that you could blame it on. Now this is not, we're just, we're just, everything is just loading right now. We're all just watching things load together. I mean, I know that it's like the shadow, but why is it brighter? Because this is actually like a picture. See, like, Okay, you see here, sorry, maybe I should just hide. All right. Yeah, this is, this is, satellites can do a lot of different feeds. This is really just a picture and we could just toggle on and off those gra these, these graphics. So we could basically turn off the states. We could turn, turn off the roads for a second here so if we just if we're just looking at this with nothing else to to really distract us i mean this is obviously this is where the eclipse is moving across here right and there's a big black area right around it uh which is its shadow but like why is it so bright right in the middle there Or interest, hold on a second, actually. Because it looks like, okay, so it looks like it's like seeing through. So maybe there's just like no data there. Um, a good place to see a 
the satellite. Hold hold on one sec. I'll I'll let you. I'll give you guys a good. Tools. I'll give you guys a link to see a satellite, a really good satellite feed for free. Why can't I think of that? Which which one? It's like College of DuPage. That's it. College DuPage set the light. Yeah, let's just do co college. So you got a next lab satellite. These are a little hard to um, aha. So it's not showing up on this. So I guess it's just something with the software that we're that that we're using. Yeah, there's. It, I mean, it's freaking out. All the the satellites are all freaking out a little bit. See, like that big flash. I bet you it's like the, I bet you the satellite itself was maybe hit by the shadow and uh, who knows? I have no idea what I'm talking about. Yeah, this is the blue visible. Okay. So Okay, Reed's coming back. We'll go back to Reed. Okay, it was really just the way that this this program deals with its data. It looks like they put a layer over a map. But anyway, Reed's back. Let's go to him. Oh yeah, for damage and stuff. We like we know the neighbors too. With yeah, <laughs> same. That was awesome. That was the coolest thing. And now we're going to be chasing tornadoes. Tornado Watch is out just east of us. Time to blast, right? Yeah. What a day. Yeah. What a day. What a day. <laughs> what a day. You got it good down here, too? Huh? Yeah. yeah. I did. Yeah. Yeah. Did Gizmo enjoy it, or is she just going nuts? Doing pretty nuts. got to come out when you get a big trough coming into the plains and it's moderate you know high risk or something yeah, and, really and we're assured to see something yeah, <laughs> but today we could 
We'll probably end up in the Texas Piney Woods in the grunge, but I mean, we could see something big today, but. Look at that. That's nice. Oh, that's a great shot. Look at the clouds. Oh my gosh. It was crazy. The clouds almost act like a natural filter. Yeah. Like it. Yeah. Like you could. It was most. It was so beautiful, wasn't it? That's what I dreamed about. That sunset, the orange like poking through the clouds. That was crazy. The whole dot. I don't know. It's all fairy color. It looked pink to me. Because it was so hot here, the temperature drop was incredibly noticeable. Really? Yeah, because it was super hot and humid, and all of a sudden it was just like just the coolness came down. We kept the so maintained temperature aloft, I think, so I bet it cools down here and you probably lose yeah, the last rate. I mean, you really noticed the difference, like, temperature-wise. <laughs> yeah, it was cool, man. Thanks. Thanks. I, I'll never forget this. Yeah, bigger than you, man. Yeah. That's awesome. So I owe you a lifetime of tornado intercept, so anytime. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's nice meeting you. Nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. You guys are so cool. We thought about it so hard, then they just parted. I'll be back as soon as uh, they exit the terminal. <clears throat> Is that still waiting? Everyone at this airport. Yeah. I can text him too. Yeah. Oh, there it is. His oh, later. Later. Okay. Guys, don't be creeps in chat or in life. Uh, but that is, uh, that's our uh, pilot buddy's uh, girlfriend. Nice, nice folks. Uh, no, Supercar Blondie, they headed back. We had a blast. Hopefully they had fun too. And I was like, yeah, for some reason on this phone, I couldn't get the uh, Corona to resolve. I think it's because of the Black Magic app. But he got incredible video of it. Man, it was intense up there. Like so much traffic. And oh, was it? There were lots of other aircraft. A jet went zipping by like hypersonic speed. And he could see the storms and the warm front developing. Yeah. He could see the warm front developing, turkey necks going up, and he's getting a little nervous, thinking that it might develop a little bit faster. Yeah. But yeah, Brian, I'll edit this up quick and send it to you so you can show him. And uh, it was incredible. Once in a lifetime experience. Gizmo, I think, was. How did she do? Just, she just, she was just letting me know she was there. Yeah. Like if I any if I would sit in the car, she'd be fine. And then I'd like. I like left, she'd bark, I tried to put her on her leash and go out, she was just having a... Man, we did it. Nice work. Yeah. <laughs> Oxygen into there. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> yeah. Looks pretty cool. Dark. It's awesome. There's the sunset. See that orange? Oh yeah. Orange sunset. Oh, that's cool. I couldn't get it very good. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Woo. Three minutes. Okay, just gonna get my bearings again. I got a really good steam in, as you can see. Yeah, you did. You got a nice. It was slide. so humid out here. Did you find some blue bonnets? 
No, no, I actually, I started leaving the airport, pulled up, um, I pulled up uh, Sasquatch and saw that oh, yeah. there was going to be a clearing here, and I caught it almost right here in the parking lot. Like, not very far at all. Yeah, she's, you can tell she's primed. Oh, she does. She was like on, she was on 11. <laughs> she does that high pitch oh, one. Oh, yeah. The, the whole time it was the high pitch part, not the growl. Yeah. It was just that, the one that just is hit you right in the ear. I'll be right back. I have to go by the bushes here and pee. Okay. That was so amazing. Now we got a tornado watch just to the east of us. We're going to get on those storms. We got to go north and east, right? Sorry. All right, guys. Now the plan is this dude, this guy. He's just north of College State. Hey. You know, I, I, I don't know, guys. We, I try to try to DJ here a little bit. Sometimes I just, you know, what are you gonna do? There has to be a sponsorship opportunity there somewhere. Yeah, I, you know what? I need to get like, just like a mirror to just show you guys like everything. Cause there's four monitors here, which is like, and it's kind of not enough. It is enough, but there's just, there's a lot going on and like chats just boom and boom, boom. It is a, it's kind of hard to sleep at night when you're in front of this all day and you're just, you're just scanning, reading, scanning, reading. And then suddenly in this ear, you hear like tinkle, tinkle, and you're like, John, what is going on? Um, and we're frozen too. Uh, again, let's, let's get refocused. I feel like the rest of the day is going to be a little wacky because everybody's so like overloaded from what a cool experience the eclipse was, but Let's storm chase. Any tornado warnings yet? Not that I saw. I haven't looked in the mountains. Oh shit. Uh, I got power ready for you. Here's one. This is a new song. Oh, that's the USB C one. Oh, yeah, wait, what am I doing? Man, I'm just all out of whack. Let me put this one over here so we. Are you center? Actually, this is a great little holder up here. I'll wait till that charges up. <laughs> yeah. And send it back over. Just might need to navigate up toward where we need to do it. Yeah, I was going to ask you. So we have. So you got these storms right here by Smithville starting to go up too. Is the one due north? Just go to College Station, right? Yeah, I think so. Hearn. 
go to Hearn first? Yeah, Hearn. Actually, yeah, that'll put yeah. us with that. Okay. Hearn Taichi Hearn. Looks like we got a live coming up from 15. I just got that from Doug. I saw. All right, guys, we're going to head to Hearn. Hearn, Texas. Wait, let me give that lens a little wipe. Looks like I got some sweat on it. Thanks for showing him having that experience with Gizmo, too. Oh, yeah. Did she, she like it? I mean, I you once it was... Oh, yeah, when it got dark, it was, she quieted down. She did? Like, as soon as the darkness happened, like, she started to, like... Because you, you won't hear her bark too much in that part of the video. Yeah. Like, for some reason, once it got dark, you could tell she sensed something was up. Were you in blue bonnets? No, I was actually right here on this hill. Look at those blue bonnets. Yeah, I know. Did you think about jumping? I did think about doing the razor wire. I was like, I'm going to do this. And I was like, eh, no. Man, that was so cool. Those jets are awesome. That Nobody guy was, fly he was there. so awesome. Too. Yeah, he was so he nice. Was, yeah. Man, what a great decision. Yeah, it was. Wow. Definitely. Yeah, he was awesome. And it worked out perfect. We ended up getting it on the ground in multiple locations. I just hope I didn't smell too bad in there. I probably smelled bad. <laughs> I'm just like... We're switching over to better coverage, better uh, data right now. And Reed's sending me what he filmed up there, so we'll show it to you guys on here. Yeah, we're gonna show you the, the flight video. We just gotta send it, you know, bingo, bango. To have executed. So oh, good. So cool. I want to be a pilot now. Uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> Did he give you the bug? He gave you the bug? Yeah. There's a lot of like pre flight like details that you have to go over, a lot of paperwork, find flight plans, so I'd probably mess it up that way. It was awesome. How was it at the ground? Just amazing? Yeah. <laughs> Did you know that it was totality when you couldn't see it and then it just Yeah, yeah, because yeah, the dark was like a dramatic drop. So you could definitely tell. Send this to you, Brian. Text it.
Nope. Wrong one. Right one. Right one. Just play this loop because it's cool. While we reestablish. So much stuff happening. <laughs> this is the day of a lot. <laughs> this forever will be known as the day of a lot. I don't think we're live on Facebook. Sorry, Brian. Dude. This might not work. Still live, you may not. Oh yeah, you know what yeah.
driving. You're doing a wide turn. Oh, I, I had to wait. You told me to self navigate and tell you. Uh, yeah, whatever it's easy. I'm gonna turn right up here. Right? Oh, never mind. It just changed. It's rerouting us. Okay, just stay on this road for 2.4 miles. the experience yeah yeah that was amazing so much fun It's like you're almost like <laughs> preconditioned to think like people are going to be strange or something. <laughs> yeah. So then when you meet normal people, you're like, oh. <laughs> it's kind of a big fountain in these gyms. <laughs> oh, yeah. You might not have wanted a Tesla, though. <laughs> Although that would have been pretty sick. This is the one I sent to Accu. Oh shoot, I gotta go live. Yeah, boss, go live. <laughs> I need to know when that shit happens. Set an alarm schedule for the rest of the day. Oh, it's okay. I'm just not good at remembering it. Yeah. Oh, this is cool. <laughs> Wingland, you can still see. Or it's Sorry guys, I'm here. Step it out.
we're almost at totality. It's at. We are almost at. We are almost at totality. It's starting to get a little bit dark here in Austin. I got cloud coverage right now, but there's breaks right in between. So I should be able to get a really good money shot right as uh, the full part of the totality happens on the eclipse right above our head. Just need that little tiny gap in the clouds. This is stressing me out. I hope that uh, I can get a gap in the clouds here. What a guy. Yeah. What a <laughs> guy. <laughs> Like all those things at the same time, you gotta be kidding. You gotta be kidding. That's a good one. That's the first time you got me like soul in. Please. Uh, this is new. Just automatically switching. 
We're going to stop that. Technology. So weird. Now it's now it's stopped. No wait. Yep, still doing it. <laughs> what in the world? All right. This makes no sense. Yeah, let's do that. This is why we don't like completely switch coverage in the middle of a stream because stream stuff happens like this it's not it's not it's not refreshing the stream it's not doing things like that it's Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it seemed to stabilize now. It's just looking at, it's just been looking back at you guys for a while now. Uh, hold on. Okay. One. One sec. I gotta take this, guys. Um, I'm gonna put up this thing so you guys aren't getting. Uh, I'm gonna put up the satellite in this while we work this out. No, no, no. I'm talking. I'm talking to the to America and beyond right now. Because we're just live streaming through all this. So, um, but it builds. It.
So like I said, she was so okay with me if I would come in here and sit next to her. Yeah. But if I tried to do anything other than that, it was like really. Okay. <laughs> I was like, I was like, like, Shh. like trying to calm her better. And she's just like, <laughs> oh, she don't care at all. Even if you picked her up. Oh yeah, I like would grab her with one hand, just, but then it would just be closer to my ear. <laughs> it was like. <laughs> 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 oh. When did she realize I was gone? She was totally cool until we got back in the vehicle and started driving without you. Like, to walk back to the car, she's happy, yeah. she peed, waiting for you wow. to take off, she was fine. Yeah. Then we got in the car, mm -hmm. and, and she like instantly was just like, went into the mode of, where's Reed? Aww. Feels nice to be a good love. Oh, she definitely loves you. <laughs> 
Did you see, did you, you heard her when we walked on the plane, once we got close enough that her eyes could finally see you or she could hear you, yeah. she just started like losing it. Yeah. She's like, there he is. <laughs> It always asks for this update when we turn it on too, Brian. Can you, can you press like yes? Oh, uh, let me see. Yeah, it's updating now. Oh, there's like a press bar going on. Yep. Oh yeah, I got, I got, I got full bars 5G. We're heading down the road to Hearn. Hearn. Yeah, you know where Hearn is. They don't. Hearn. New mesoscale discussion within the tornado watch. It's interesting. Did that tornado watch go up when we were airborne? Oh, yeah. Actually, about around the time totality, yeah. What's this new message? There's also some storms developing there west of Colleen. Here, this is the new mesoscale discussion they just put out. The risk for severe hail and perhaps a couple of tornadoes may continue to increase with a couple of evolving supercells before thunderstorms possibly begin consolidating into an organized cluster near or north of College Station and Huntsville into Lufkin vicinities towards 5 to 6 p.m. Do you see the status bar, Brian? Uh, I don't. Okay. No. It's about, it's already like a, almost a third of the way done. Can you just take a picture of it and send it to me just so that I, I yep. know what that face looks like? Yes, sir. Yeah, I like that supercell there, um, near Plantersville. Coming through. Sorry, Mary, just, uh, just text me when you see it's it's done, please. I will. I'll do so. I just sent you a photo too. Yep. Thanks, Brian. Nice work. You did it. Anyone that was watching me from a distance probably was like, why does that guy look crazy? Because I was just like... <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Beats oh yeah, I was just like drenched in sweat. <laughs> like I'm gonna, all these videos are going to be like, dang, Edgar was stressed. <laughs> I was just sweating, just trepping. But it was just because it was humid out. <laughs> Everybody give Edgar the storm chaser a round of applause and a follow. He just pulls off the impossible day in and day out. Let's see. Give Brian O'Toole a round of applause and a follow. Brian V. O'Toole. Just a uh, technical genius, space, internet connectivity. Just right in the forefront of video editing and production. And uh, just spirits in the afterglow right now here. It's a total solar eclipse. Skyler, did you see that? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Mom, should I? Yeah. Give me a Sunetti so you can put it on. Sure. I don't know. If you I put just it. did a little quick edit for uh, oh, Twitter. Oh, okay, cool. Okay. Oh, thanks. Elgin. Tornado's here a couple years ago, right? March 21st, 2022, y'all. Yeah. Sure was. I got those. I got them. Was it like you were in a bubble or like I mean like yeah, the back of the dom or yeah, something? Just go like that to look at it. Yeah, that's awesome. Just naked eye. Did you naked eye most of the time? Yeah, except for when it was crescent, you know, then I just tried to look at it to the phone. Yeah. They used a little bit of the lens. Yeah, I tried the glass it was what I realized quickly you can't have glasses and also video. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like those. So I just started using Yeah. The I didn't even I don't even try to look at that little orange crescent anyway. I, I'm more there. Crescent only looks good if you have like a good time lapse. And yeah. I did love the uh, the colors below are crazy. The sunset over there, just just wild. Face. I can turn it off for the camera. <laughs> you have an expressive face naturally. That's good. Makes it easier, I guess. <laughs> it's more expressive now that I'm like confident and have teeth and stuff. I feel like I can just like, <laughs> You should be confident. You have such such a diverse skill set, modern skill set. There it is. Oh my god, great shooting! Can you even see the storm clouds? This is, is what this is what Accu got. Oh really? Yeah, they got. Cool. There you go. Up, up and away.
and there was, trust me, I was sitting here waiting, going, I mean, we didn't know it was going to work until the last second. <laughs> I mean, I was like, please have a bike in the garage. But it made me feel better, because I looked over the stream real fast and saw Connor and Brian. I was like, okay, at least they have, they have it. So someone has it. And then I couldn't, the Lyrics app, it's so frustrating that every time you touch the screen, it takes autofocus off, because that's the only way you could get it to focus on the eclipse was the... That's the only way you could get it to focus on the eclipse was the... Thanks for that, man. We are good. And we pulled off that live, too. We got in there, and it, it worked really well. We had Lincoln on the ground, up in Lake Placid.
So we're just about there with fixing all this stuff. And the day hasn't even started. hook on that storm southeast of College Station, folks. These are struggling on the west side of that line. They sure are. Is it just because of the milk? I think so. I wonder if that might be a little effect of the, uh, I think the, the eclipse. <laughs> Maybe it is, yeah. Because it wasn't milky at all before, even when it was cloudy. When I was out here, it wasn't milky skies. Yeah, the eclipse did that, didn't it? Yeah, it's, honestly, it's only been milky since then. We should have brought snacks. I just realized how hungry I was since the adrenaline went down. I was like, oh wait, my stomach's so great. Yeah, so on that you do it like. Yeah, so on that you do it like. Is he over here? Is that connected to the live here, buddy? Yeah, this one is. Really? Is that connected to the live here? Yeah, this one is. Really? Not this one isn't. Does it power it at the same time as me connecting to it? No, but I'm charging my battery pack to put on the back and magnetically charge it if it once it starts getting low. Mental gymnastics. Yeah. I keep seeing those marks. I'm like, I know you just are like on your shirt. <laughs> Paul at me like he's with us. Yeah, look at that. It's a really high quality and a consistency. Yeah, I mean, Beautimus. Yeah, everybody. I just posted. Beautimus. Yeah, everybody. I just posted that flight video on Facebook and on Twitter. If you want to check it out, I also am sending it to Brian so that he can run it here over the broadcast. Brian, I'm going to send you this through Dropbox really quick. It was amazing. So amazing, I don't even, in the moment, it's one of those things where you're like, I know this is incredible. <laughs> what was cool is, like, even though there was no one around me, yeah. but there were some people, I think, in the parking lot, and maybe out there, like, you, I could still hear people cheering. Yeah? Yeah, really? like, yeah, like from distance. Oh, cool. Yeah, it was like... What an awesome
so mad at you. But... Yeah, a little bit of that. Oh my gosh, you did such good work. Look at you. <laughs> what a wizard you are. Man, is that raw? Yeah. The clouds like made it possible to see the dang. Crash. Yeah, yeah, without a filter dang, on. That's incredible. Yeah. We should be able to make a great video. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think it makes it awesome with the clouds moving through like that, don't yeah, you? It does. Like it's just an added level of. I can't wait to. What did the telescope shot that Brian did look like at, at totality? Uh, I didn't see it right at totality. I saw basically the screenshot of the East End. I saw it when it was there, but I was when totality happened. I was just trying to film it from every. <laughs> I also put a GoPro on the roof looking straight up. But I don't know what that looked like. I haven't had a chance to look at that yet. So that was car? Yeah, I just put it up, just facing. Basically, the clips happened directly overhead. Did we get to my GoPro? I don't know, maybe you put Must it. be in there somewhere. If not, I'm sure it's in it's his right back there, I think, right? No. It's gotta be in here. Your GoPro. Huh. That was, that's not your, that wasn't my GoPro. That's, who's nominated GoPro the one that you have? It's definitely in here somewhere. Yeah. It's either in here or in the plane, so either way. I definitely took it off the plane. We're getting rain, folks. We are targeting this tornado watch east of College Station, it looks like, and it looks like some of these storms on the west side, College Station, back toward Austin. Even though they're producing lightning, they're starting to peter out just a little bit. And we're wondering if it's due to some influences from the eclipse. Oh, blue sky. So yes, we're kind of coming out of the path, right? I think so. I did forget to do the shadows. Yeah. He does cool stuff with the shadows. Yeah. 
Egg Town. Heading up just north of Edge Town. Definitely this blue sky area that was over Austin has slid a little bit to the east. And probably helped most storms. Which one did last year? Trade? No, we came in blood. Got you. Oh, I did? Yeah. Back. You're back, baby. What is the surface temperature here? Enough screens in here. 82. Bird to you. We are almost at totality. Ooh, look at that. Tower right in front of us. Oh, yeah. Digital. Is that? It looked bad. It's getting into a better environment. Yeah. I'm going to send you my Dropbox in case you want to put it up on the talk. Oh, yes, please do. Okay, yeah. Five minute one. Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll hold up. Thank you. Yeah, okay. Southerly winds, weak southerlies, low level jets going to be intensifying, folks, especially as you get a little closer to 5 p. Hmm. Oh my god, it's so moist out here. <laughs> oh my god. So wet out here. Just unbelievably moist. Like I can't look anywhere if there's iPhones. I can see one, two, three, four, five, six iPhones right in my eyesight. Casey's would be on point if there was just one so close. Just go on and get eight slices of pizza. Man, that storm out to the east has a nice hook. Duh. Southwest of New Waverly. Must be some kind of jet streak or. Yeah, for some reason they're just bubbling right there. Yeah. Tops are coming down a little bit. Oh. Sorry, guys, that was not food. 
gets in your ear perk up. So Edgar can breathe. Breathing is important. Is your service just terrible in his town right now? On your phone? Yeah. One bar. It seems like Texas is a Verizon state, doesn't it? Let's see. <laughs> yep. Verizon phone. Five. Five. Five bars. It said restart real time. Okay, I'll do that real quick here, buddy. Next stop, Hearn. Hearn. Is it Hernie or Hearn? That's a good question. I thought we got a base just to ourselves. It's moving northeast now. 
north northeast. So we could catch it long term. Yeah, I think we would have to intercept like somewhere way up here, like it, so maybe even Henderson. But I'm wondering if these storms that we're getting on right now, maybe they'll, uh, seems like as we're moving east now, we're starting to explode a little bit. Folks, look at those blue skies. Warm frontal zone intercepted. Milk to the north. Get it.
most important, I experienced it with great friends. Cyclone is coming in and doesn't appear to have a turn. Look at that, those storms are rotating big out there near Rockton. Just to our southwest. Strongest low level wind shear is going to be slamming into this convective line as they get a little bit closer to the magic hour. We're right on the warm front. Look at that. They are the southeast of the winds. Around 200 0 to 1 kilometer shear throughout the line. The wind shear is already sufficient for tornadoes.
solar eclipse at 19,000 feet by plane. Yeah, he kept having to get permission to go higher too. It was really intense. So much time to control. Yeah. It seemed like he was getting a little bit. Yeah, you could tell he was. I was worried he was getting a little bit. So.
Buffalo. A lot of traffic up here, Buffalo, sir. Tons of traffic. Well, we're just gonna go for it. Yeah, I think that's our only play right now. At least I think it's going the opposite direction. Yeah, and it goes to places. That's all. Intensifying your Norman, yeah, look at all the lightning south of it. Yeah, it's a little like circulation out here. here would have a better shot at rooting. That's a little just to our south, it's these storms, yeah, over that base. But even those will go. I bet this is, I bet that's why our, my cell signals down on all our phones. All these people, yeah, Live oh, that's why everybody's in that lane because everybody's turning right. Do we need to turn right? Jack somebody. You can get it right here. Probably what I said. Right here though. I think it's just straight. They're all going right, aren't they? Oh yeah, for sure. They're right here in front of this guy. guys so we're gonna have to we'll be lucky to get a tornado today <laughs> oh it's a train maybe i think it's just the light there's a lot of traffic maybe though turning underneath this left uh, lane no one else going north yeah yay yay there's a base guys on the right side then we got an updraft base that's sliding north northeast not very mature though, yeah, but the storms just off to our northeast look a little bit better. Tornado warn storm has died. You know, the one just to our southeast right in front of us looks pretty interesting. Yeah, it's really good to have the multi-camera angles too, but if you just get the rover camera working, that's really kind of the, oh, yeah, for the sure. foundation of the stream, in my opinion. If you had no cameras and still had the rover camera working and you could get that dynamic live shot, yeah. okay. then I think that's all you need. Wow, that motion with that cloud base, at least right to left. That cloud base, folks. Right there, looking at that cloud base. See, even just that little zoom it adds a little bit of dynamicism. What do you think? I do. I do. Just wonder if I can loosen this up so that we can. Ah, there. That's a little dynamicism there. Too much. Lots of lightning on this storm just southeast of us. We should be able to catch this easy before a month more for a month's work. So it comes out of that. That died, so I mean it, I feel like the worm front is still down here maybe. You know, oh, we're sitting right here. 
let's do a quick little uh, oh. OTF. Almost forgot. Let's do it like a, uh, you know, we just left the airport or we're close by. Get a segue here. We just left Austin Airport, and boy, was that incredible. A once-in-a-lifetime experience uh, seeing that eclipse from aloft. We could see a sunset coming in, the orange coming in, but seeing that eclipse in 360 was just incredible. And being in that little jet, it's almost like intercepting a tornado in the Subaru. You just feel like you're exposed in the environment, just in there in that little capsule at 19,000 feet. Seeing that eclipse happen all around you was just remarkable. And I could even see the, the path of the warm front. I could see those towers start to initiate just off to our southeast. And that's what prompted the tornado watch, which we are going to be chasing next, heading east-northeast into the Texas Piney Woods. Looks like there definitely is a threat of maybe even a significant tornado this evening as a low-level jet begins to ramp up. But I definitely am noticing some impact that the path of totality has had on the weather. It looks like a lot of those storms on the western edge of that convective line along the warm front are struggling to develop. And we had a lot of these milky skies fill in, a lot of cloud cover filled in right during the path of totality as that temperature fell down to the dew point. And I think that that has allowed some of those storms to not intensify. It's slowing down the more rapid intensif intensification that would have happened and possibly even reducing the severe weather threat at least a little bit closer to the path of totality and probably more of a temporary effect. I bet as you get a little bit of mixing and overturning, you'll start to see some more clear skies. And I think that we're about to activate full-blown storm chase mode to work this tornado threat in the Texas Piney Woods. Kind of a long one. That's good. I should uh, probably do that yellow, I guess. We need to do one that's... Uh, do we, tell me when you need to do more stuff for Accu. Okay. Yeah, I don't know when you, I don't know when we need to do another as live for that. Our next one's on till seven. Okay. Central time? Six central. Six central? Um, I got an alarm set for five minutes before that. that much moisture and uh, the path of totality comes through, then it'll just instantly cool that temperature to the new point. It's interesting. That would make sense though. Because really, yeah.
tornado there in 2015. Yeah, it definitely has 2015 vibes to it this year so far. See a storm coming? Nice Evil. tower. Some hero that stupid thing. We do have bases everywhere at least. Updraft bases. That one's out near Cameron, not Benjamin. Ben Arnold and Cameron.
Dodge uh, Cologne. Yes. Yeah, it's some of our favorite shots. I love that one. There's definitely a couple of different strategies that they have. There's some that just try to reduce their metabolism to zero and just like oh yeah yeah everybody. like like those are the ones that just like they don't even try to get meat they just forage for like nuts and berries yeah. and just like the meat eaters usually lose don't they yeah they, they spend too much energy yeah trying to get the the meat. Some of those people who get up to be like, you know, 400 pounds or so, and they can roll in there and then just lay there for like months, dropping the metabolism to zero. Look how well that does with the zoom in on this too. Anybody in the drive thru maybe we can yeah. Reaper Tuck? I don't know. I'll pop out and shoot an as live once we uh, once we order. Yeah. They have Reaper Tacos here? That's what it said. I Oh, the dude. Oh. T brand. There's like the Texas T brand, which is the tacos. Sorry, are you waiting on I'm gonna. I would like a number one with a sprite. A number one with tea. Yes, that works. And a sprite. Okay, mustard all the way. Yep. Eighty-seven sprite. Yes, ma'am. Can I please have the XL chili cheese dog? That's okay. Could I please do a crispy chicken sandwich? Yeah. Combo. Do you want the combo or just the sandwich? I'll do the combo. All right. The mayo, lettuce, tomato, and that is fine. Yes. Yep. That's that's good. Would you like to add any cheese or bacon today? Yeah, I'll add cheese and bacon. Okay. And could I please add a single T brand taco as well? Yeah. I'll do a large coat. <laughs> oh my god, that was so close. Man, you gotta like go wide with this thing, huh? Jeez. I think we didn't try to pull the Dominator through here. <laughs> it would have never worked. <laughs> Shut the whole drive through down.
these are so intense. Oh, good, Mike did it too. Explosion happened. I'm sure that. <laughs> yeah, we are still alive after this eclipse. John Halen caught Giz barking in the background of my, of my videos. Like, is that Giz? <laughs> yes, yes, it was. in here too that's excited. Okay. Yeah do you have one? Yeah. She'll love it. Oh that's <laughs> awesome. Thank you. Thank you sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. yeah a little bit of rain. It'll clear up fast. Our west is kind of dying out a little bit. Thank you so much. All right, so what are we doing next? Next, we're just gonna wait. We gotta wait for this warm front to bubble. We're uh, just waiting for these supercells along the western edge of the warm front, a little closer to I-35, trying to see if those are gonna mature. Because in a couple of hours, these uh, the low-level jet starts to ramp up, and then it looks like these storms are gonna develop some tornado potential. The Gizmo's eating the pup cup here, really enjoying it. We're at Dairy Queen. Ice cream, it is, isn't it? <laughs> oh, God. Dude, 
she's loving it. <laughs> That's not whipped cream, it's vanilla. Hey, look at her go. She's like it best. She is. Yeah. <laughs> look at that. I know it's cold, as I was it. I can live in ice cream when I'm busted. Oh, you did? She's liking it, whatever you put in there. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. You already set that to me? I just did not set it for you two in your lap. That's <laughs> You are fast. <laughs> It's because I gotta think of the, start thinking of the next thing. It's kind of like it's like con about close, putting periods on everything. Can I have y'all pull up? Yeah. Ooh, blue sky again. Flip around. Oh, that's nice. Over there, get blue skies. Oh, we got sunshine. I'll grab one of those straws, sir. Mm -hmm. Get one to grab with it. Yeah, I can get it. <laughs> yeah, it's like. Mm. Now, some of your Ben Arnold is getting a little bit better of a shape. I wonder if it's going to go or... It could be back near Austin where it eventually happens, too. You guys can see his there. Let's look at it. Better tops. I think it's going to be that storm near Ben Arnold. We might need to go to Bremen. Okay. In Bremen next. We're gonna eat this whole thing. Look at her. You guys seeing that on stream? She's just she's going to town on it. This is the happy she's been all day. <laughs> she's not supposed to have this much cream, but I can't stop it now. Oh, it's too late now. <laughs> yeah. She's gonna have a blowout later. <laughs> yes, you deserve a blowout, Gizzy. Everybody. Everybody deserves to be blow out from now and then. Okay, look at look. Oh, there it is. The best looks on my phone, but that'll be good too. Let's see what it looks like. Let's get a little sneak peek. Oh, peeky sneak. When I hooked it up on the side window, I wasn't able to really get the cloud back as much. But it looks cool. It's great inside the cabin, but it just... Yeah. Oh, it looks great. Yeah, see, I looked up and I just saw those holes in the cloud, and I'm like, they've got to be able to see this, because I could also see the ground. Interesting. But I think there are holes in the clouds just uh, south of Austin or something. Such a cool shot. Oh, cool, you just kind of ran this for like 42 minutes. Sweet. Maybe some time-lapse opportunities. Oh yeah, the, the uh, halo. Shoot, I, yeah, I caught it, good. Yeah, you can edit that out. It's you, can, you can edit to make that pop hard too on these GoPros. I don't think that was that totality yet. That was earlier when I had the halo. you see the dark in the middle or not? Can you zoom in a little bit? Can't zoom in on the screen. Yeah. It's a beautiful city.
cold after that. Warm it up. She's a little chilly, huh? That clear sky, that looks amazing out there. It does. Do you think they're gonna forget about us? That's a really good question. Thank you. She ate the whole thing. <laughs> Two balls <laughs> chicken. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you too, thank you. Oh. You get tacos? One. Just one taco. Okay. It's big. No, I said it's a big box of tacos. All right, Bremen, here we come. Twenty minutes out. We're gonna get on that storm just to our west. Got some decent echo tops on it. What is? Oh yeah, that's a curve. <laughs> Kids, are you freezing? Yeah. So what'd you get in here? Did you get just the burger? Yeah, but I'll eat the taco first. Oh no, I got a uh, crispy chicken. Okay, cool. I can do that. The rest of this is yours. Thanks. All right, right hand turn. We are headed up to Bremen, where the B at the end. Bremen. Can we get the eco sauce? We did. So critical of that. That thing looks awesome, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Good job, Brian, on that eco soft. Watch. Really? He wants a little bit ah. of beef, sir. Glad we're not going that way. Mm -hmm. Wow. One more up. Eclipse traffic. Everybody drove north for it, huh? Seems like everybody's heading back.
ago. Probably like 18 years ago. It was one of my friend's first tattoo he's ever done. How we doing? All right. <clears throat> I've been doing so much like streaming stuff today that I'm out of touch with the weather right now. So let's catch up on it together here. We have no warnings right now. Let me double check all my software because this software wasn't getting some of this the other day. No, we have no warnings right now, but let's see if we have a... There's the severe watch. Let's see, whoop. I'm in Austin there. It seems like a lot of stuff is going on north of us and just east of us. And then all of a sudden, then you see this whole line of storms uh, going up here. And this is the general area where these guys are. These guys are by sort of right in the middle of Dallas, Houston, and Austin, like dead in the middle of those three. See here, you can see where they are. We got Austin here, Houston here, we got Dallas up here. Here are these guys. And so they're coming close to, they're headed towards these storms here.
They'll be back shortly. Just face ID here. All right, this is the software that I, I like here. All right. That's why this is not getting data. Still connected to the telescope. Connor's more to the north. All right, so yeah, so this is the tornado watch as it is right now. Remains in effect until 8 p.m. Central. And we did see a tornado warning way earlier, like right after the eclipse ended. There was a tornado warning way over here. Um, but what Edgar was saying and what I felt, because I was in the totality too, is that when, um, when the eclipse happened, the temperature dropped pretty significantly. And... Reed was, from what he was seeing of what the storms were doing, he was like, huh, it seems like the eclipse had an effect on the, or that temperature drop had an effect on the clouds and the whole setup for today. So it's definitely in a unique situation when a total solar eclipse happens in the middle of a uh, severe weather tornado setup. And so, yeah, it definitely, it might have lessened things a bit, but a lot of, uh, like, Connor is going to go live again at 5. So he's going to go live in a few minutes, and we'll have him back on here. I could see on the GPS, the guys are moving here. They're moving into Bremen. Hopefully right as they get closer to town. Yeah, okay, I'm starting to see their, their data coming back here. Seems like from here to here, not that awesome with service.
They're in a rental car right now. Storm Chaser Macy M says, oh yes, they're in a huge data hole. That is a bad spot. Chased in that area before. Thank you, Macy. For concurring. But their dot is moving. Who needs a clear video when you can just watch this slowly putt putt along here? Also, another exciting thing just delivered to the house, a bunch of soundproof panels that'll go all over this room, further hijacking my, this from my office to our streaming setup. My like desk is becoming smaller and smaller in the corner over there as this thing just gets takes over. Yeah, and we were up early, like redoing all this, all this stuff for the uh, the telescope and and coordinating with the uh, the pilot and everything like that. So, whoop, getting closer to town. Hopefully, this we start to connect a little bit more here. Come on now. I see it's like, it's like, eh, because I could see it like how much data they're getting and I just see it's like, eh, eh. Yeah, now we're like just 236, 368, 473. These are kilobytes per second. If you live in Bremen, I think you probably have Verizon. And now no data. Yeah, sorry, I'm, I'm a bit fried from uh, all the, the streaming things because a, a lot went wrong. You have to, you know, you have to do, you have to port forward, you got to punch holes in firewalls, you got to do all sorts of stuff. It's not just like, bing, connect, doesn't work like that. But these guys are a little stable, so...
what that looks like. All right, guys, you got a wall cloud right over the road. See it? Looking straight ahead. That appears to be an updraft base. And I think the storm is starting to intensify. Yes, ma'am. looking for a tornado are you I was like, well we are but there's not one <laughs> Listening to yourself right afterwards. First she was like a little like Yeah, first she was like just a like all little of like mm. Alright, yeah we're going up to Kossi K-O-S-S-E Sorry if I'm saying that wrong But this storm does appear to be intensifying If it can root, it's going to have a chance The temperature down here is 74 degrees Alright, yeah we're going up to Kossi We are now tracking a severe weather threat Including the threat of tornadoes across East Texas just to the east of the path of totality, but also including portions of it here in central Texas.
So, see in the middle here? <laughs> Very generally, actually, no, not there. It's about there. So this is Verizon. That's ET and T. That's T-Mobile. We have all those. What are you gonna do? No severe warnings yet. There you can see this line of storms going up right in the middle. We'll animate them so that you can see. Keep an eye on these guys up here. Yeah, you see they're like blowing off like chimneys there, starting to become more. Yeah. Let's see how tall these are. It's going to chase mode here. Got to get it together. All right, so looking how tall these storms are, this is what this feed is. So the taller the storm, generally, generally the stronger it is. And these are pretty tall. These are over 40,000 feet. All these storms can even... Do that little inspector. See that right here. This one's over 41,000 feet, 41,000 feet. This one's almost at 50,000 feet. So these are strong storms. They're going up. No, Nothing severe just yet. Audio out of sync. No, I'm not a meteorologist at all. I like picked up a couple things. There's basically supposed to be somebody else who like really knows their stuff in this seat here. And we're always dealing with tech issues and then we got footage coming in over here from the field that we're messing with so could use somebody dedicated to just breaking down the radar because um, I know you know a decent amount but others know a lot more than me so so this is where Reed is going they're headed to Kasi and this look at this storm right here. So this is the storm they're headed to. So if we check this one, this one is at this one's getting close to 50 in places. Okay, that's at 47 or so. Yeah, you could see down here this is 15,000 feet and then boom, all the way up to 50,000 feet. So these are why we call them towers. They just they make a big thing you see. This is one tower right here. This is a tower right here. Got another tower here, and this guy's getting real big. This one's over 50,000. You know what? Is our, uh, is our buddy Connor live yet? Two minutes. Let me make sure I have him piped in properly here.
Yeah, Connor is, is he live already? But he's in bad data right now too, okay. All right, let's go to Connor for a little bit. Team Dominator will be back shortly. like it but it on reflectivity but nope, the there's, there's guys coming in from the south here like, i wonder if it's base is on the north side of the storm no no i was talking about being slow <laughs> trying to look for the base of the storm strictly off radar, what would be the product you would look at? Probably. Would you... I would just look for where the reflectivity has got a tight gradient, you know, just a little bit of it showed off. Okay, yeah. Especially with these elevated storms. So like a second, storm. last scan it had it right there a little bit, but yeah. it's kind of went away now. Right. Maybe. Yeah. Any of those little ripples. Ripples in there, okay. So, yeah. I'm hoping that they'll, that'd be a sign of some flow coming in, but there's a lot of low clouds kind of blocking our view of everything. Definitely not much of a jet up there right now, huh? No, not at all. Yeah. 
Oh, we could pivot to that. We could pivot to that super easy too. Rogers, I think. It's not Rogers. Should we you think we should go for it now or just chill here for a minute and see? I don't know which how long it would take us to get on that other one though. Everybody, stay as well. I'll come out with her. <laughs> She'll jump out. Very interesting looking storm right here. A little bit of rising scud. Just seeing if this thing can get rooted to the surface or not. Probably has the best chance of any of the storms right now. I do like that storm down near Round Rock, Texas even more though. So we may end up getting on that one. But first we got to check this one out. This base is coming. Look at that rising scud on the right. Just south of Mexico. Look at how that scud is getting lower right there. It's coming right at us. I don't see much rotation, but 
there's definitely something going on right here on the lead edge of this. Big lightning. Yeah, just a little rising scud here. A little bit of a, might be a little bit more of a shelf cloud type thing off to the left and a little lower rising scud there straight in front of the car. gonna cross basically over my head. I am a little more interested in what the southern side of the storm looks like, so we might punch through and then shoot back north after this thing. But I do wanna keep the round rock storm in play as well, but this definitely has a little bit of a base to it. I'm moving due north. Here it comes. I'm about to start raining a lot heavier. Northeast, looks like it's actually surface based and it's really close to the radar site there, so if you use a, a different radar a little bit further away, you can kind of see higher up in the storm, and you can see that it has that kind of classic sickle shape to it. Yeah, if you, if you look at from KEWX to the south. Oh, I mean, it's still from the far away radar, but it's going nuts, yeah. Yeah, yeah that one's you going. Get on that. That's what I, I was just freaking out when I stopped there. Yeah, we can just go ahead and head southwest. It'd be great. It was perfect. Yeah, that was yeah. a good segue. Yeah, I tried to be yeah. really they, nice about it. The good thing is about, I'd say, all of Team Dominator and follows, yeah. they all know. They understand. They all I want them to come with us. I know, right? Just follow just, us down just, there. Just get a van one day. Just it, What if we just got a van one day and the chase was anyone that we saw along the way that wanted to jump in, they could. That's called a tour company, then. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah, we're not, we're, we're not, I'm good. I'm good Go on that. Go ahead and run one of those. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sounds great for you. I was even. I'm, I'm, I would be even worse because I wasn't even thinking about making them pay me. I was just like, <laughs> let them jump in. No, yeah, that that works. You know, it sounds like fun. Then you have to bring them all back though, too. One video I've always <laughs> wanted to do is to is to get like, like because I think it'd be straight chaos is to do a chase. And like a storm tour but nothing but like top end high end experience chasers in there. <laughs> I'll chase it again.
probably is going to get severe one soon. Okay, I'm, yeah, I'm turning around here. Do a quick U-turn. Might be able to get some cool lightning out of this. That was right behind us too. I'm gonna let this go for, I'm gonna sit here for a half second. Yeah, it's right here. Just because I wanna get this, I wanna see this base a little bit clearer. You can see the, the blues. I wanna be able to see the base just a little bit clearer before we go. It's right above us, I think. Should have, I mean, there should be some more crazy cloud ground lightning in here. Little base right above me, it looks like. These storms are all moving due north. They're gonna need to turn right. They wanna be tornado producers. Guys, I plan on chasing all of these severe weather threats. The link to my new the link to tomorrow's stream is in the description. Oh, there it is. The link to tomorrow's stream is pinned to the top of the chat. There we go. Yeah, we should get some good lightning here. I'm, I'm about to follow this storm north. I just wanted to see what it looked like on the back side here. Looks kind of stable, actually. How's that round rock storm look? That round rock storm looks like the most interesting one right now, honestly. I might just go for it. We'll stay with this one just for a little bit, but I might go south towards the round rock storm. Might just punch through this one and go for the round rock one. Uh, that's, that's my honest take right now. Uh, let's see. It hasn't even been great lightning run on this one in the past couple of minutes. I mean, there's CGs everywhere in here. All right. So you just heard, uh, you heard a bit of what Reed and Edgar were saying about a storm that had their eye, but you had to look from a different radar site, <clears throat> site. and Connor actually just said the same thing. And the one that they're looking at is right by Round, Round Rock. So here's Austin down here, here's Round Rock, here's this storm. But if we look at this, this right here is the radar site. So the fact that it's right on top of it you can't really get a good idea of the shape of the storm, but if we zoom out and we go to a further away radar site, you can now see that kind of little bit of that shape that we're used to. And you can see that there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of lightning on the storm. So that is the one that has both Reed's eye and Connor's eye. So you'll see on this map we'll start to see these guys see now these guys are headed southwest connor is going to probably do the same thing and they're all really honed in on this storm that's just north of round rock it's over granger right now bartlett i'm sure i'm out of sync Let's uh, jump to Connor for a little bit. I'm uh, rewiring. Give me some, some last second bolts as the storm goes away and then I'm dropping south, chat. <clears throat> I'm 
just a much thicker updraft down here near Granger, Round Rock, than up here, these skinnier, weaker updrafts. Looks like a beast. I have a hard time leaving the storm that we're on first just because I don't wanna I don't wanna be stormless for like 45 minutes, but sometimes you just gotta do it. It'll be worth it in the end. Yeah, these ones are just moving due north. Alright, so you see Team Dominator's coming back here, but this is that storm that's over Bartlett. Yeah, and it's it 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 is very compelling to both these guys because they're they're not exactly close. They're not super super far, but neither of them are exactly close to it, and they're dropping away from the storms that they were on. So here's Connor here, here's Team Dominator down here and they're going to be going for this storm right now because we see that there are two um, severe warnings there are two severe warnings over here but in terms of uh, tornado potential right now to Connor to Reed it's this one down here so let's jump back to Team Dominator Come to Team Dominator only. There's Falls. Falls County. I'm kind of surprised that they haven't gone severe with that. Special weather statement so far. This clouds look a little smooth. I think that, uh. What? So these clouds are a little smooth, kind of like little. Yeah. Laminar, yeah, there they look elevated. Oh, yeah. That's an elevated clouds look like right there. Is that like some sort of like? Is that just different levels? So hard yeah, it's stratiform. I mean, everything's so stratified because it's stable up here. Yeah. And it's in the wake of that other storm, so there's some rain pool there. That's true. Oh yeah, you might just be seeing like some light coming through. It's, yeah, it's all stratiform clouds. Flat. storm for a half hour now. It was so close to radar you probably didn't realize how intense it was. Intense. Yeah, we're also targeting that storm uh, near the radar site east of Round Rock. You can look at uh, radars that are a little further away from the storm if you want to scan up a little bit higher and see how the reflectivities are behaving above ground level. And we did that a little bit ago.
it's three that way. But it's not like a shootout. We're just like pulling up on it. I can see through the police windshield here. The bad news is... What in the hell is going on here? storm is going to produce before we get to it too. We're headed west toward Rosebud. Then we're going to be headed a little bit southwest eventually toward the storm, folks. A lot of milk up here to the north of the warm front. And then you see it down there in the dark sky in general. What are we anticipating as the storm comes towards us? Well, we've got a storm now just to the east of Round Rock that's starting to look a little bit surface based. And that storm can turn right and absorb a couple of super showers, a couple of little miniature storms that'll grow in size. And I think that it gives us the best shot as the tornado right now. It's a little bit further south than the rest. And that's our target storm just to the east of Round Rock. Definitely has potential to produce some tornadoes. Tornadoes? There it is. There it is. My light. My light. Again? No, my light. that video on that first your face was like what the <laughs> Bing! I wonder if all these are kind of milky but this other one once it merges with that storm it's potential it's gonna have to turn hard right
Rosebud. I'm worried about the milk. Well, that, that's soft, though. I mean, yeah, that's probably on the warm front. That needs to turn bright. It does. Anchor on that warm front. I don't want that to happen, but if it does, we'll chase the hell out of it. Whoa! Yeah, I think it's south of that back to the line. Like right here probably, right? Like it looks like maybe, yeah. or is that square? It does seem like those storms went up a little bit early near College Station. It needed its lift, and I, I bet that the... Oh shoot, I gotta go live. So. Yeah, I'm remind, I remind, I got you. I'm waiting for we get to good signal and once I get stop. I just need like a dry erase marker and just have it in here and be like writing stuff on the window. Like, Stop at 245. <laughs> As like 315. Just have it all on there. That's so funny. <laughs> he had that the pilot, Matt, it was like writing notes on his iPad. Oh, he was? Yeah, it, it's an intense process, all the information. Like, you, that guy has to be incredibly intelligent. I was I mean, worried about like, just rubbing him in the body. Oh, yeah. Constant chatter from him. I was like, you just focus on playing. Yeah. Do not crash on my behalf, please. shown that that's the area where we're going to get an organized supercell within the next couple of hours. So I'm banking on the, some of those models being correct. Banking on some of those models being correct.
getting some storm mergers on it. Could help it out. Starting to get some mergers on this thing. south from here or like towards Burlington or? To yeah, I still have that same town that I had typed in. Oh, okay. I just forgot the name. It's 23, 25 minutes west. That new one. I typed in Rosebud and then that storm just kept sliding north, northeast. So I figured I'd, I'd pick one a little west. Palm tree. Palmetto. I think we need a, a little miniature drone that like hovers around, just flies around. You know, what? ultra wide view. You know, I guarantee you, technology is going to get there one day. Yeah. Like they're trying with those selfie sticks, you know, and everything yeah. to kind of give you the bird's eye view. They like automatically remove the stick out of the video. Yeah. It's pretty cool technology. I wouldn't be surprised if our setup is obsolete already. You can do one in this cute little downtown. What's happening? You got a real vehicle, dude. Yeah, <laughs> I just I got. I haven't it. seen you in. Years. It's good to see you. How are you doing? I'm hanging in there. Nice. I gotta sign up for. I gotta check in and do a live for AccuWeather in a couple. I'll get. Months. I'll get out of your hair. Oh no, you're good. I just have to. I just have to sign in at the same time while I'm talking to I you. I was looking at this <laughs> same storm going. Hmm. Yeah. Is this the one you're thinking of? Oh uh, yeah, these are all milky skies, kind of. But we're thinking about that one to our southwest. If that one can maybe absorb a few. Oh no, my phone just died. What was it that you said? Sorry, I gotta get this live go going. Yeah, yep. I'm, I'm sorry. If I oh, miss this, they'll fire me. Don't get it. Don't get it. <laughs> okay. Hi, Gizmo. Give me your phone. I'll go ahead and get it charging. Oh, thanks, man. Yep. Yeah, there's Gizmo. My mother just passed away. She oh my died. goodness. I'm sorry. So oh, sorry. I, yeah, we won't have to talk about that because I'm still trying to remember what she set up in Kansas whenever the tornado dropped off on the of you. Oh. You couldn't open the window in the door. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't. I got to step out real qu
Here, I'll go print Gizmo out for you. I'll get out of your hair. Oh, don't. <laughs> no, I just have to do a live at the top of the hour. It's pretty hey. the schedule. It's, it's, not, it's not dead. Huh? It's not dead. Yeah, I've already signed Okay, cool. I don't yeah. know why it's calling. It must have just died, yeah. Do I just exit the Zoom meeting on this phone? Or just yeah, leave can it? Can you guys hear me? Okay, thank there you. you. Got it. <laughs> Good. Tired, but good. It's already a grind this year, so. Yeah, I know. I've been watching you. Yeah. What did he say? I'm trying to remember what he said. All right, guys. I got to put Gizmo back in. Oops. I just got, just got one minute. We'll oh, set her in there. Just make sure she doesn't jump out. She's so out. good. I can't believe she's 15. Oh, yeah. She's eight. She's going strong. She's been with us now for about the past two weeks, and... Seems to be doing really, really good. We even got that day we got in that monster hail. She did great. I can't believe that they're written trucks to him. <laughs> oh, yeah. Storm is directly between Temple and Round Rock now. Oh, new MD. New MD. supercell or two could happen if should this occur some increase in tornado potential would it be possible that's what the new MD shows so oh boy let's get it new MD talking about increased tornado potential if any storm can organize turn right and that's exactly what this storm is trying to do might almost be starting to come into view of our uh, on screen radar, I'm not sure. But if it's not, you can see we're right there, Round Rock Storm coming up right in our direction. We're just moving towards each other right now, so. Here we go. Going in for intercept.
ride there. Camera needs to lock in. Surprised they haven't gone severe warrant on this yet. It's got to be close. south too we got some clean air off to the south clear skies even has some clear skies just off to our south that is a great sign we're up to 72 degrees as well on uh on my car so this means this storm probably has access to a lot warmer air less stable air right on the warm front wow and oh look how dark it got when we face that way we're moving in I 
heading towards, you know, heading just south of Marlin, it looks like. It turns right, it's heading pretty much right for us. Got a couple different road options, so. Not too worried. Service seems to be pretty decent around here as well. Sauce on someone's Street. Yeah. <laughs> Jordan just met you. Just, or you just, he's just like eyes on the, the stream. <laughs> Which way? Which one's where the hell we want to go? This thing's not moving very fast. Yeah, we definitely got to stay with it all to a low level jet. I mean, we're just, we've been sitting here this whole time and it really almost hasn't even gained any ground on us. <laughs>
folks, we are now headed west for Rogers. We're going to try to get in the uh, path of this cluster of storms. We may just want that towel out of there, too. Oh, just saw some lightning on our storm. You guys see that lightning just in front of us? Oh, we're 
Where's that? Probably whether it be further uh, east or west tomorrow to start off with. We can just go right up the wake of a left and there. Yeah, these are other ones for sure. 
thing shred that. There's a Hampton Inn in Buffalo. So there's Waco. It's kind of like almost in between that and Lupton. Dead center. Let's see what they got here. That's all we need to know. It's tiny bit pricey. Just say. So if you want to, we could go. If you don't, if you don't, if you don't think it's too far north, we could go towards Palestine. Yeah. Because that's what, but this one's like. There's a, there's a big difference there. Yeah. Right? Buffalo or Palestine would probably work. Okay. Cool. But well, first, let's chase, figure out what we're doing today. The way up there, yeah. 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 <laughs> oh, hook trying to form on the back end of that. Yeah, looks interesting. Yeah. But right, right by Fairfield. Let's look and see if the velocity is. Starting route to Palestine. And southwest on State Highway 1313. Then turn right onto State Highway 1320. Just looking all the hills off your bed, too. Yeah, I may still be hungry. It's just I probably should have kept feeding her that. Milky skies. Thanks for the chase sales. Did you have to work your whole life to get rid of your southern accent? Yeah. So why did you want to get rid of it so bad? Uh, when I was in the music industry and like especially when I was like in New York and LA, I could see like as a manager. That most managers come from the big cities and I came from the south, so, so you had to start talking like that. I tried to cut some of it out so that uh -huh. they didn't instantly judge me.
to see if it can start to get organized because this is just a big broad base right now uh it's pr I, I wouldn't say it's elevated but definitely isn't taking in anything significant in terms of surface-based inflow Gonna have to wait for it to come to us. Not even a special weather statement on this guy anymore. Let me open chat while we sit here. It looks good. Yeah, it looks decent right now. It has a broad base. I'm not too upset with the way it looks. Not upset with the way this looks at all. Just needs a little time, I think. Looks like we finally got some storms up all the way in the Texas Panhandle. Tornado threat's definitely higher with these storms at the moment. Just overall tornado potential. Let's see, what does this look like from the far away radar? This looks like it's getting some mergers. Might drop south in Rosebud real quick. Might drop south in Rosebud. Yeah, let's get back on the road, see if we can get a little further south. Looks like there's a new little hook forming on the far southern end of this storm.
see if we get a little bit closer underneath this thing if it isn't is there any areas of concentrated rotation that I just wasn't able to see from a distance. There could be. Biz. Edgar and Reed. Grunge Chasers. Uh, biz. We've been doing it all year. It has been such a grungy like. Well, not. Yeah. The beginning of March. Started off like a rocket ship. Yeah, we <laughs> have moments. A little rocket ship. That, that's just early spring, I guess. Yeah, yeah. We're okay. We're still killing it. Love to go to a Hampton Inn and get some laundry done. Come on, you're going to pop out a video.
severe warning back uh, just west of where we came from, up in uh, Corsicana. Sorry, guys, I forgot I didn't have the windshield wipers on. Definitely a base on this thing. You just have to get in close. See if we can't see where this road brings us. Let's go down Mr. Gravel Road here. Chase. Go too fast on it. Sliding. Get me off this road. Point eight miles. I need some momentum going up this hill. Point six. Hopefully this next road's paved.
Thanks always make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications so if we do go live a little bit later you'll be able to see it but yeah right now it looks like the store that we are on is currently done but it could pop on something later on tonight so, yeah. yeah maybe that cluster will continue moving east yeah to get over get some better moisture but i think everything's kind of set its sights on tomorrow yeah I really think that uh eclipse did a little doozy on it today yeah it might have muddied up uh, already kind of muddy setup a lot of lightning around here though Thanks for tuning in for our eclipse coverage. It's a beautiful town here we're going through. Be on the lookout for that eclipse video. It'll be coming out from all of today's shenanigans. Large hail producers, West Texas, bubblers out here in Grunge in East Texas, but tomorrow could be an elevated mix layer kind of arriving in East Texas more so, and I think that we could see a more significant severe weather event tomorrow. Dun, dun. Dun, dun. You got the same thing. You got some milk out there, it looks like. Max velocity, wow. Thanks everybody that's been donating today on the live stream. Yeah, thank you everybody. Gina K, thanks for saying that I'm a cool dude. I bet you're cool too. Thanks Gina K, he is cool. He's got that pop sensibility. Expert hype man too. <laughs> some, of, some of one of the most natural hype men. Hype men? <laughs> Viv, thank you. Yeah, Viv says thanks for making this an extremely fantastic event for of a lifetime. So, ooh, look at that bolt there. Get a little bit of that action. Uh, Gina K wants to make sure you know Reed's cool too. Gina is very cool. So. Oh yeah, someone said <laughs> that was the next thing. She was like, Gina is way cool. You know what? Everyone on Team Dominator is way cool, including all of you that are watching right now. The ride or die has been grinding with us all day. Ooh, more lightning. Adam, welcome to Dominator Team Dominator 2. Thank you. Very glad to have you, Adam. Oh yeah, definitely. This is like 4K. I'm just trying to do 4K. Everybody also give a big round of applause to Brian in yeah. the chat. Wow. Brian's been busting his butt. If you guys don't know, he was like on his route, telescoping, running down, getting in, doing live, you know, coverage for you guys at the same time. Just, just absolutely dominating <laughs> from home base. He needs lots of flaps today. Good job, Brian. Same as Team Dominator. Dominator.
Thanks everybody for giving all that love to Brian in the chat. There he is. There he is. Oh, Teresa, thank you so much for the 999 super chat. Heck yeah. So we gotta give a shout out to all the mods in here. I'm just watching y'all break your magic. It takes so many people to make such a, a great team. Okay, so it seems like, uh, yeah, the eclipse sort of, uh, it was a muddy setup already, and it seems like the eclipse cooled everything down and made it harder uh, for things to go up. These guys, uh, are we signing off? we're signing off. We, will, we have two more days of severe weather, guys. Let me show you really fast the latest. All right, so this is tomorrow's setup. And the t the tornado area, we have a 10% hatched area right now. Let me just make sure that all this is totally, totally up to date. Yes, we have a big 10% hatched area tomorrow. So heads up and then we have uh, an enhanced risk. They don't have a, so three days in a row enhanced risk, eclipse today, flights. Uh, thank you everybody to the moderators. Thank you to uh, all the members of Team Dominator. We just crossed 925,000 subs. I feel like we just cr crossed 900, so we are on our way to a million. We'll be there soon and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Never stop chasing. And...